All right, before we start today's episode, um, we want to announce something that's huge for us and we've been working really, on really for months. Really, really exciting. Um, drum roll, please, baby. Bah! We are launching A our Patreon, Patreon channel, baby. Woo! We're going to have fucking bonus podcast unfiltered episodes that you mm -hmm. won't see anywhere else but on the Patreon. We got high episodes. We got drunk episodes. The hair from my trans what is the only <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> If I didn't get that hair transplant, I'd be fucking bald. <laughs> Dude, look at that. We're going to post our Zany Heath coffee talk vlogs like we mm -hmm. used to back then. We're bringing that right back to Patreon. Yep. We're going to do two monthly. It's so fucking exciting. Yeah, we're really excited to be filming like that again because we know a lot of people missed it. Um, and we wanted to keep it exclusive, something small for like a tight-knit little Patreon family. And we're excited to uh, bond with everybody that comes on there and chat. We got a Discord that we're opening mm -hmm. up so we can go in, talk to you guys, chat on there, and you guys can talk up um, amongst each other. And honestly, this is great because it's only going to be me and Heath on there, which yep. means that we could talk the most shit about Matt King Sorry, finally. <laughs> and he'll never see it. And Mariah too, because she won't see it, but that's right. It, it'll just be for me and Heath. So uh -huh. that, that'll be exciting. Um, um, so that's going to be on Discord. If you guys don't know what Discord is, it's like a private chat community that we can all talk literally in in real time. We can talk mm -hmm. about whatever we want and we'll be on there all the time. Yeah. And you guys will also be able to uh, control and pick the next guest for the upcoming podcast, who you guys want to see on. Pretty much be our producers of the show. Which, that's right. Which is so fucking cool. Yep. Um, and then you can also pick upcoming coffee flavors for Komoda Coffee. You guys are going to have a lot of power within our content, which we're super excited to give you guys exactly what you want starting on these tables <laughs> that you guys absolutely love uh, we know you guys like, you're gonna see us behind the scenes that's already up right now if you want to check it out us getting stuff set up and uh us struggling and another thing we're gonna have early access to ad free podcast episodes that we're gonna post on youtube but you get to see it three days earlier on patreon if you are a Maybe be the first one Go brag to your friends that you know what's coming up on the, <laughs> or or they don't even know that we have a Patreon. You're like, hmm, I'm guessing Zane and Heath will have um, hmm, David Dobrik on the next exactly. episode. Exactly. <laughs> and you'll be able to see that three days early without anybody else knowing until we post public. We're also going to be offering discounts on our coffee and our merch on there. We're so. going to make some dope Kremota merch that only you guys will be able to access. Exclusive. The Patreon members. Exclusive. Exactly. So if you want to check it out, watch behind the scenes content, exclusive podcast where we're high. Oh, I had a panic attack in this one <laughs> so it's really really embarrassing but you know what we are opening up there you go make sure to go to patreon.com slash zane and heath we have three tiers set up for you so just pick whichever one you want depending yeah. on how much uh content you want from us um and we're excited to hang out talk with you guys and uh build a little family you guys see you guys there it's live right now so yeah this, uh, it's already up we got two bonus vlogs that are on there um, and we also have the bonus podcast episode if you guys want to watch that right now it's live. And we are stoned out of our mind. <laughs> yeah, which is not a surprise because we've been there before. Um, but all right, yeah, let's jump right into this. How's everybody doing? Okay. Doing great, Keith. How are, How are you? you? We're, start, we're starting now. Thank you. Yeah, I If was, that helps. I was saying that. <laughs> so a couple of our friends have obviously been on this. And like I was like, Jason, so how was it? He's like... It's really good and it's really fun, but I just had no idea they started <laughs> until like 15 minutes in. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, this is the podcast. So like, what? The second I walked into this room, I was like... Already like, is it in? Like, are we, on? <laughs> we were thinking about we were thinking about just starting as soon as you walked in. Yeah, I, like, okay, let's I, go. I was scared it was gonna start in the driveway, like the second I saw Heath out there. <laughs> I'm out there with the camera getting you as you're like pulling in. <laughs> is this it? Um thanks for having me. Of yeah, course. Thank for you. Oh, by the way, hi, welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm hi. Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Mar Mariah. I'm Matt. <laughs> what's, I, what's up? You don't have your headphones on. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna bother me too much. I'm gonna keep moving it and shit. All right, be different. I'm already having a hard time like a child. focusing. <laughs> a boom, a child. A child. <laughs> All right, well, we have a David Dobrik here today. Thank you so much, David, for coming and taking the time out of your day to be here. Thank you guys for having me. I'm, I'm enjoying the new set. It's really cool. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. It looks like a political like YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, opposite. We'll, we'll get there. But I also like the, the fact that you guys change it up like every season. Yeah, yeah guys, keep it fresh. Keep the excited. Monkey. I like that a lot. You got to. And like, it's kind of nice that you went like to desks because then the next one can be like, Couches again. Hammocks is yeah. what we were thinking. <laughs> Hammocks. Hammocks. That'd be actually nice. You guys are just all floating from the ceiling. Cameras <laughs> just shooting down. Like this. We'll get there. No, be no, pretty no. Cool. I'm so nervous. What if like this doesn't work? Like oh, what if we actually have no chemistry? I don't know. You've, I feel like it's headed hold on. You ever think about that? I, in a way, but like <laughs> usually I get nervous for like a lot of guests, but for you, I was like, I'm not nervous about it. Cause we like, well, I, yeah, I mean, I hope you wouldn't be nervous, but like, I also think like, there's a lot of pressure on this. There is. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> like a we, lot of eyes. Right. Like we have to prove for the fact that we're really friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. It's like a test. Off camera like, and on camera, like I feel like completely different relationships. There, that we all have. There, there's definitely like some reporter sitting back taking notes, being like, "Okay, David's not making eye contact with the same." So Gotta something seems more. a little <laughs> awkward between <laughs> David and Matt. Gonna I don't know if anybody else is picking up on I that. I think David and Matt have hooked up once. Or some, <laughs> something's going on. Little <laughs> tension. There's been times where like David and I have been like. This sounds so bad. Alone together, like in a car. Whoa. And we just like sit there. And I'm like, this is so, I'll just verbally, this is awkward. <laughs> this is oh. weird. <laughs> yeah, there was recently, like it was a couple yeah. months ago, we were in the car. We're like, what do we talk about? <laughs> wait, what? Do we, oh yeah, we what? went to a party. I, you were like out of town or something. Oh wait, it was the three of us. And Mariah right? called me immediately. He's <laughs> gone, pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah. And then yeah, I picked up Mariah and like the second she sat down, it was like, oh, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's also like super weird because like you're my friend's girlfriend and I've never actually like hung out with you one on one. Right. Like right. I met you through Heath and I've never like yeah. interacted with you alone. So it definitely made me nervous. I still, what do you think? I, <laughs> I, still, I still get weird when I'm here and Heath leaves. I'm just like, should I stay here? Oh, you said, you said, <laughs> you said that the other day. Talk to me. Guys, I've seen, I've seen movies before and it's, it's always weird. It's always fucking That's weird. Funny. You're also weird about leaving. You like Irish goodbye a lot. Like you, you'll do yes. that. Really? Yes. 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 Is it like, Irish goodbye when dude, you leave? You, you did this the other day. We were sitting, hanging out in the kitchen for Who literally, were we, with? we yeah. were, it was hours and we were sitting there. I was, I stood up. I was like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. You like this. I went to the bathroom. I walked out, and you were gone. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like Zane. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done. And you literally weren't answering. I was like, holy shit, where the fuck did he go? I checked your location. You were all the way down Riverside. I was like, <laughs> what? I usually, I usually say bye. I'm like, all right, Heath, I'm leaving. It and works backwards too, though. Like sometimes he'll, he has he'll, he has disappeared, but other times he's also gone to take a nap in like one of the bedrooms, and he'll and you'll see him. Throughout the night in like right, installments, right. yeah, like that's what's so special about you. Is you don't know if you're gone or if you're in like in a different corner of the house. Yeah, um, and I and and I'll just I'll stagger here. What's is that the word stagger? I'll stagger here until like St like that's stagger stumble stagger linger linger. I'll, I'll linger stagger. every night. You are I, staggering <laughs> when I'm here. When Isn't I'm here, that what Bart on said. Everybody stagger. <laughs> Scraddle. Scraddle. <laughs> Zane's taking Zane. Zane and Bardon are in the same spectrum. We're, we're on the same fucking spectrum for sure. But I was saying when I when I'm when I'm when I'm here at night, I'll literally stay here for like till four in the morning. Heath and Mariah are just looking at each other and like, all right, we're gonna go to bed. I'm like, oh god, we got there. I was like, I always try to leave before that comes out of their mouth. Yeah, there, Zane, you were like, I gotta stop doing this. Like, you guys gotta stop telling oh, is, me. Like, is that the bed. dynamic here though? Like, you leave when they go to bed. Yeah. Like when yeah. I, oh, okay. Because when I go to bed, you're there for another two hours. <laughs> yeah, well, because you have like a nice couch and it's like good and lighting. We and have all. <laughs> I hate when people are over and, and I'm like, you can stay. I'm just going to go to sleep. And then they're like, oh my God, we totally don't want to intrude. We're going to head it out. makes them feel better. And, and I'm like, care. I can't explain it to them. Like, you can walk in here. Like, if I know you and you're my yeah. friend, you can walk in here at 2 a.m. and like hang out on my couch. Like, that's why I love yeah. like having a house where everyone can come in. Like, people yeah. don't understand that. And you take advantage of it mm -hmm. quite beautifully. I, yeah, no, I sleep everywhere. I take every, the, the middle room is my, my room now. I have like some of my clothes in the closet. No, I know. A lot yeah. of people have their clothes, in, I, which I love. Like, I love that. I think my thing is I don't trust Zane enough to lock up my house after leaving if I was asleep. Oh, I'm actually pretty good with, about that. I have to remind Matt every fucking, about every what? day about locking the doors and turning on the alarm. I think and you're home or I think Todd's home. I lock up. You never lock up. Yes, I do. I, every time, every night I come home late, it's Round unlocked. One. Well, because I leave it open for you because I don't want you thinking that I'm go. not Hash there. It out. You know what? Last, last time you said this, my car almost got stolen okay. and my car keys were stolen. So. Zane, my car got stolen because of you. Okay, well, <laughs> that wasn't <laughs> like directly that wasn't, that fell wasn't on you. fully my fault. It's just because your keys were in my Jeep and my Jeep was unlocked. So that's kind of your fault for having your key in my Jeep, right? You should have had it on you. He's, st he's also it stole was, my car. He's. I had literally had to Uber oh, yeah. here because Zane, <laughs> because Zane is borrowing my car. And then lost the key for it. And he lost the key. No, no, wait, no, no, I did go. not lose the fucking key. That Tesla key card was literally on the table. And then the maid it came, disappeared. That's the maid came and yeah. cleaned up the whole house. And then all my shit went missing. I found the and, key in the kitchen and oh, you yeah. were nowhere to be found. Well, I was like, what is this All thing? my stuff was here though. Whoa, 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 wait, I, so you have the key. No, no, I don't. Uh, it's gone. We it's found it so it's here. Gone. He came back. We gave him the key I and then left that day and was like, have you seen my key? <laughs> like we gave it to you like two hours ago. Zane, that's my, I don't have a single car right now. I'm so sorry. I, no, I, I, what do you want me to do? Do you want, I, I was going to actually pay you like, like no, lease your car. Every month I just started it now. <laughs> no, I'm I, not even driving I, it. The only car I have in my driveway because Taylor's car broke. <laughs> um, Ilya uses his car and my Model X is completely destroyed. So the only car I have in my driveway is the boat. And it was either that or I, <laughs> <laughs> and 
and I didn't want to drive. I didn't want to drive the boat. Heath, you took it out all day yesterday. It was really nice. Yeah, you were if you were sailing the streets. Yeah, what is the, what's under the boat? Is it like a, a Honda car. Civic like a that they car. turned in? Some sort of Ford. I don't oh, know. Okay. It did pretty well. The thing drives like a boat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the best part about it is when we went to like valet it at like a really nice exclusive party, they had no choice but to give us the upfront parking. Yeah, <laughs> of course. And it was completely free and it was literally right next to the party because they were just like, we don't know what to do with it. We, we really thought fun. they were going to give a shit. I thought we were going to have to turn right no, back around. They were really so fun to drive it during the day with like two people in it. Not so much <clears throat> at night pitch black with a through a canyon with like 12 people. <laughs> Mariah hated it too. <laughs> David was like, oh my God, your makeup makes you look so miserable because I had the mask costume on. I was yeah. like, no, I am miserable. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was in the back and I was like, Mariah, fucking cheer up. <laughs> and even, well, at the party first, that was when I first brought up your, your makeup because yeah. it made you look like literally like you, you were like, to. you're giving everybody dirty looks. I'm like, no, I'm not. It's my makeup. Yeah. And then when she got like, she got like really like defensive and sad, she's like, no, I'm not. She still looks fucking pissed. <laughs> She couldn't explain that she was, yeah. Or um, in any public settings, just pissed off. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. <laughs> Around <laughs> drunk people, day. she can't do it. We're, we're, we're tolerable. <laughs> um, I, I don't think I am. Every time I see videos of me drunk, I'm just like, oh, fuck, I can't, like, I would never want to be thing. around that. Yeah. It's the worst thing in the world. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what are you talking about? They both get embarrassed every single time. I'm uh -huh. never, I don't want to do that again. I don't want to see myself. <laughs> watching, <laughs> watching drunk footage makes me, but you would like, especially the night after. Too. You'd watch so footage with me the next day and you'd be like, this is so funny. Like you, and for they're, footage, they're, 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 I, they're, I think yeah. he's thinking. Well, when you're, when you're vlogging, I think it's like, we, we kind of like, you make we, we can justify it as acting, right? <laughs> yeah. But when there's no camera drunk on, and we're acid. seeing people like just filming oh. us. We're like, golly, it's bad. That's the worst. Like yeah. me and Ilya were walking out of a nightclub in Chicago one time and someone like posted a TikTok of it and it just, we, it, it was sad. Well, that's the thing. Sad. That's like, that's what's changed now is like before when I would film with you guys and like Zane, you'd leave a place drunk. I was just talking about this with somebody like our days used to be, we'd go to my house, mm -hmm. we'd go to Saddle Ranch and then we'd go back to my house. That was like yeah. every day. Good we wouldn't time. even say to uh, say a saddle ranch until two. We'd actually leave a little early just so we can like yeah. finish the night off. And like house. when you'd leave saddle and or like we'd be at like Stasis or somewhere and you'd be like drunk and like, or we'd be in public and you'd be running around drunk and I'd be filming you. Like it was totally fine because I was in control of the edit. So like if you were, if like you did something extra sloppy that you didn't yeah. want, like it wasn't yeah. in. I would definitely but, be over the next day. I'd be like, but, hey, can I, can I see the, can I see <laughs> yeah. the But now everyone has TikTok. So like, I don't even like, Anybody can post anything. Do you know yeah, what I mean? You're right, right. And it just blows up. If like Zane is fucking fucked up on the street, like fighting with a security <laughs> it's guard. It's it's like, it's 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 already out. They make their own story to it. They put their own context to it. And then you're like, fucked. Yeah. So scary. Yeah. <laughs> so scary. Zane, like Zane, it could be a girl with a black eye, like from something else. And she could be like, Zane sucked me in the face. Yeah. The theory he has drunk afterwards. <laughs> and people will be like, and oh it's my great. God, it's true. And it's, and it's just him being super, just like. <laughs> See, and that's the move he used. Yeah, that's the move. Yeah. <laughs> Just from a different day. <laughs> yeah. And it's crazy because like whenever you see a story, any anybody do a story time on TikTok, you Im immediately believe it. Uh, like you immediately believe it. Like you don't dissect it. Like, oh, this could be not that, true. No, it's true. 100%. The other day, the other day, um, I saw a TikTok and it was like um, someone went to somebody's house, like a celebrity's house, and they didn't tip. So I went through the comments and one of the top comments was, this gives me David Dobrik energy. Because like they like apparently post mated to my house. Oh wait, I, I I saw that and TikTok I too. Tip. And I have never in my life not tipped. Explain like, to him the TikTok and people listening. What it the was, TikTok was it was like a it was like a TikTok <clears throat> where um where where it was like I I post mated for blah 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 and I went to his house and he left me no tip like for Postmates mm -hmm. and then all the comments were like this gives me. Kesha vibes, blah, blah, blah. They just kept like listing celebrities, yeah, not Kesha, right. but I don't but know But people, I think yeah. people were commenting saying, oh, I postmated for this person and yes, gave yes. me no tip, but yeah. you didn't know what it was so like. So it was, it, my name was there and I was just, and I honestly- Top I could, comment. I could honestly say I've, I've never ever not tipped. Like that's from when weird. I, You're Mr. Giveaway and from, stuff. Well, that's, like, that's why it's so like, that's why it like, those comments hurt me extra more because it seems like I'm just being like faking it on camera. I think it, it stems from, there was, uh, a TikTok a long time bro, ago that I saw. Bro. It was like this girl who like worked at a restaurant that said David came in with like our entire group. We were all like terrible to be around. I saw awful. Like, that's bullshit. And then no we, way. we left no tip. No, not, no. Dine and Dash. Is no, that what it, it was? It wasn't the no tip. It wasn't the no tip that bothered me about that TikTok. 
It was the girl. The girl writes on it. She she or not writes. On she it. wrote like a note on it, right? No, or she you, says she says he didn't tip. First of all. They said I paid for the thing, which I never pay for any lunch. No, he doesn't. I never have. He a, doesn't have a credit card. I don't have a credit card, yeah. so it's not possible for me to pay for any lunch. We so, always have to pay for David. So, so they said. <laughs> they said, funny how that shit works. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I Venmo, and they and and they said that I put my card down. I left no tip, and instead wrote my name with a smiley face. There's no fucking way. Like I just graced you with my presence on the stage. <laughs> how is that? And like, and obviously, like I don't respond to any TikToks about myself ever because it's just like it just fuels attention to the thing. But the 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 TikTok recently about the DoorDash and not tipping the driver, I went to Natalie because I was just so pissed. I was like, why the fuck do people think I never tip? And Natalie goes, Natalie goes, honestly, I think that was about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. She didn't leave it because she had access she, to your account? She, no, no, because people would people come to my house all the time and they Postmates from my house, so it could have oh. been anybody at my house, and oh, okay. and yeah, and she can't tip them because she didn't order it. No, and she was like, when I first started ordering Postmates, like I would never tip, and I was like, what the fuck? And I went oh. to Ilya, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? A lot of people used to not tip in the beginning because you like people didn't know if tipping was like a normal thing on yeah. Postmates or not. So yeah, Natalie told me that, and I was just like, God, fuck. <laughs> the rumors are true. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. A waiter can spit in my food, and I will honest. I just think it's bad karma to not tip. Yeah. Like I don't care what energy the waiter gives me. I don't want. I, I just want good karma. Like take my twenty percent. And they get paid really little too. That like some of these waiters yeah. get paid like three to five dollars an hour. That's crazy. Because you guys, they, their tip were you guys is ever what, waiters? Yeah. No. Yeah. I was a bus. Oh boy. yeah. Oh, that's uh, the Uncle, worst. Uncle Julius, you were a, bu- was, a yeah. woman. Yeah. Bus, bus woman. Lady. You'd get no money from waiders yeah, being a bus like, boy. That the, is awful. The waitresses would get their tips, and then they would give you a dollar each, and there'd be like three waitresses working that oh. night. So I'd get three bucks for the night. That's how Mex Cafe was. I'd get like three bucks in the end of the night with five dollars hourly pay. So I'd walk home with like 12 bucks every, every <laughs> night. Don't spend it all in one place. Crazy. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, Warby Parker, baby. Warby Parker is an American online retailer of prescription glasses and sunglasses based in New York City. They're committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses. Their glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. So don't let your FSA or HSA dollars go to waste. Put them to good use on Warby Parker prescription glasses, prescription sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. Try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy. Ships free and includes a prepaid return shipping label. So if you want to try five pairs of glasses at home for free, go to warbyparker.com slash unfiltered to do so. It's honestly so easy. You literally just take an at-home quiz super quick, and then you pick the glasses you want, and then they come right to your door. It's so easy. You get to see exactly what you want. You get them in person. If you don't like them, you just send the ones back and then you get to pick exactly which ones you want you know how they're gonna look fit feel everything and then you just you just get them and ladies and gentlemen these are top quality glasses like yeah, they feel really these good. right now just feel that feel yeah, that baby they feel good they don't feel like heavy or like kind of normally they give me like a headache sometimes when i yeah. wear like glasses but they're really really comfortable and mo- like a lot of glasses when i buy them from like regular retail stores they don't sit on my face they're always crooked they're not built right but these are like built exactly to everybody's faces. Some of my Halloween costumes that I had, I needed glasses uh-huh. and Warby Parker literally came to the rescue. And it was the exact glasses I need for all my costumes. Worked out perfectly. Yeah. So guys, if you want to get it again, go to warbyparker.com slash unfiltered to get some glasses shipped directly to your home, baby. Again, try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash unfiltered. Thank you, Warby Parker. All I right. saw somewhere that you used to be a waiter at like a senior home. Was that... Yeah, how did you not know this? We talked about this. Oh, we have? <laughs> Zane thought he did Zane. some research. Zane, so we did some digging. <laughs> yeah, we did some <laughs> <laughs> like, So obviously, I had to read into your life. Screen, please. <laughs> uh, wait, so you were a waiter at an elderly I've, home? I've never heard about this. Oh, they what? would forget to. Uh, t- I've never talked about this with you. Oh, yeah, I was a waiter at a retirement home. That was like my first job. So, I didn't know that. So I, I um, yeah, my, my first week on the job um, the, I worked with Mike Lindsay, the guy who broke your elbow. Yeah. Never say that name around him. Do not bring his name in this fucking room. Don't say that name. Thank you. Thank you. I, it literally, I, dude, it just shook. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, Spooky. I worked with him and the first week I worked there, one of the residents shit himself and like, it was like diarrhea. So it seeped all onto the, mm. like onto the seat. And they told me I, could, I had I to, yeah, they told me I had to clean it. And when I was cleaning, it wasn't like poop. It was just the liquid from the poop. So I like had to take a towel and like wipe it into a bucket. Sorry, listeners. Oh <laughs> shit, it was so gross. And they were all fucking laughing at me because that's not that's not my job at all. And it was actually really illegal to do it because like 
it's really dangerous what comes out of yeah, rest, like fecal right. matter infections. Yeah, like yeah. you don't. Yeah, you Wait, don't know. Wait, really? Yeah. Yes. Whoa. Ooh. It's just, oh. There's just like a lot of disease, and like that was my first experience with it. But um, but yeah, I, I was in the retirement home, and I I was in the retirement home industry. <laughs> <laughs> I had my own little division. It was um, pretty cool, though. I like that. No, but I made um I made my first. Sixteen hundred dollars there, and that's what got me to move out to LA because I made the money wow. from the retirement. But you're not getting oh, tipped a at a retirement home. No, like they're like, I paid for this. No, they're like, taking I, candy. Yeah, 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 <laughs> go, don't red. spend this all in one place. <laughs> no, no tips. Did at you all. ever catch any of them like getting down? Yeah. Oh my god. I, and this is like a. This is not me being funny, but it's a retirement home is like the, yeah. the horniest. Yeah. place on earth oh, and yeah. the, the most std like yeah ridden place i mean i mean yeah it's 80 years of people's sex lives built mm. into like, and then they yeah, all my, just go all crazy having, yeah my grandpa got a hand job the other day like they had to call my mom and like let her know like really? hey uh they're telling Kurt, on Kurt your went, fucking 80 year old grandpa for they, getting a hand job well i mean my parents are paying for it so they're like <laughs> <laughs> i love how, how the they tell them turn. like like it's his parents he like he's, a, he's getting in trouble like that was the updates like the calls are the opposite that's crazy yeah it's like a summer camp but for like older people sounds incredible is it fun no, for them it, no it's horrible i it's it's honestly i like we always say how like we feel so bad for the old people because it I, there's definitely situations where people have to send their parents off to retirement yeah. home but it is very much like it's just sad like yeah. they're not visited by their family like no. a lot of them have dinners by themselves and it was so fucking sad because sometimes there'd be like couples yeah and then you'd come to work the next day and like the wife was not there like because she passed away and so now he's on his own for the next like yeah that's sad and and you're just left in this building yeah till you die and they don't really like yeah, care they don't like care about you like they're not like no you, there's you don't get love from these people they're just working every day and they have to take care my, of all these people my mom volunteers <clears throat> at like different retirement homes yeah. like just like on the <clears throat> side and there's people that like think that she's their daughter and my mom just goes along with it whatever like yeah. she my mom just has fun with she's it an and she likes taking care of sure. them and just sitting with them and letting them talk and she took me one time because I love elderly people and like people with disabilities, like I love them. And I showed up and I met my mom's first like patient and she's sitting down and she starts like knitting, but there's nothing there. And mm -hmm. I've never seen that before. And I put my head down and I start hysterical crying and I'm crying like this, but quietly. And my mom's hitting me to stop she laughing. Thinks you're oh. I'm like, oh. and I look up and I'm hysterical and she goes, okay, we're gonna go. And I, <laughs> I, couldn't, I was like, I don't know how you volunteer. She was oh, like, you just gotta, like see the light in it, like just be happy and I don't so know. sad. It's so sad. A, that's, all right, that's why I'm so curious though. Like if you ever had dementia, like what your like routine, your habit would be because like, you know, like that woman right. was knitting, David will be like at a computer trying to edit. <laughs> it's like old clips being like, we got a post and we're like, this was a long time ago. You don't have a chance. But it's not vlog, no. but it's just like videos of him like on, like, on a lake. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're just good. trying to show edits like to people like do you think this is good like, is it, i don't know i, don't, uh, I, I need to recut it just <laughs> my mom would be helping you edit she'd be like no that's good cut that take that out <laughs> drop the audio they, 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 just like, they give you just a camera to have <laughs> david just has his little used to the weight of the camera oh. that's really sad <laughs> it's kind of cute are you crying no no <sighs> yes no if we, if we keep talking about this i'll probably start crying a little yeah it, I'm, like, I'm thinking yeah i'm thinking like, i'm thinking about my so mom easily. in you get, one you get emotional about like really weirdly specific things yeah <laughs> i've noticed about you like it's like like there's like very there's like a sliver of things that like really trigger you to like a weird point that like doesn't trigger anybody yeah, else. yeah i don't get triggered <laughs> yeah no, i don't get triggered by anything Weird flex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a strong person. I'm built out of titanium. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you cried? I'm having a really bad problem with that right now. Are you, like, are, are you crying out of sadness or happiness? I'm not crying. Frustration. Oh, you're not. You yeah. usually, you are a good like empathetic cry. Like you're- I cry all the time. Yeah, and the, out of joy too. The last time I cried, I think I told you guys, was like I, I rewatched um, Avengers Endgame. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Here it goes. Okay. So <laughs> God. You should have heard David talk about this with me and Heath the other night. It's he like, literally put a gun to our head and said, you're going to watch yeah. the first 10 movies before Spider-Man He wrote out. all the movies out in like a timeline order on a, on I a board. Okay, I, I don't want to get into it because I'm sure a lot of people don't care about it. But like, 
We are at, we are at the beginning. It feels <laughs> we, we are at the beginning of time. It's guys, like you don't understand. The beginning of the start. Of no, the like this is the this is the time to get into the Marvel universe and like really enjoy the rest of your life. Of what this, a like, time to be alive! <laughs> built out. It's just such an amazing like story thing, and it all came from the mind of one man. Like it's incredible that this one guy came up with all these characters, and they're all like so like intertwined, and they all have like these characters that they develop, and they all these relationships. You guys don't give. A I fuck. love. I know. I just. I love how excited you get about this shit. Because yeah. honestly, this is about anything. You haven't given it a chance. I, I have. I've, I've seen, watched I've like a, a few, few of those movies. I could spend the rest of my life like not doing what I do and just being a fan of the world uh -huh. if I wanted to. Like I'm just so like in awe of what they've created and I'm so jealous that like that's why I cried at the end when I watched it, because I was just so jealous. Was, I was actually crying out, crying out of jealousy. Like, <laughs> just, I, Jesus. I, like, that went from being really cute and special. <laughs> I was so crying out of jealousy. All right. <laughs> no, it was like, I would love to be able to, like, how do you create something so big and so impactful that, like, mm -hmm. means so much to so many people? Like, Iron Man, <clears throat> uh, spoiler Dude, alert. your vlogs mean so much to a lot of people. Yeah, but Iron Man dies at the end of this movie. What? <laughs> and it, like, I thought he did. Oh. I'm on the third movie. Dude, <laughs> I dude, we started. just started the 10th part. <laughs> Ethan and I were doing this in secret and we we're gonna surprise you. <laughs> no, it's just it's just crazy how like a fictional character can mean so much to a person. Like that's yeah. like that's why I felt about Game of Thrones. Right. Yeah. Same like Game thing. of Thrones. But Marvel's better. I, I would say it's much more successful. And I think makes I think it's hard. I think it's like like I believe you that Game of Thrones is hard, but just the fact that you're trying to get me the, the fact that you love it so much makes it harder for me to get into it. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm like almost yeah. stubborn. I'm like, no, Marvel's No, better. I'm gonna stay on my side. Like yeah, I'm not gonna and, try to. And I know to... you won't watch Marvel because <clears> you're yeah. kinda like Game of Thrones, which so, I yeah, it makes sense. All right, so, all right. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. <laughs> all right, should we should we turn the cameras on and start recording? That now? was groundbreaking. Dave, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's We're gonna start, start recording. <laughs> I was gonna. <laughs> was that our warm up? You guys? Yeah. You know what uh, makes me <laughs> smile more than you laughing or uh, more than you crying? What? Is you getting embarrassed? <gasps> oh, it's that's probably I, one of my favorite things in this friendship. Oh, wait, when you smile? Hold on. When does yeah. he get embarrassed? Hold on. What makes me smile more than you times. than you crying is you getting embarrassed. Makes and me it, smile. It doesn't happen often. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's there's really probably a, there's probably <laughs> three times we ever saw him embarrassed, and to this day, like we still laugh out of nowhere <laughs> thinking about how you look it's when you're embarrassed. In my, like, wait, my what, what does he look like? What does he look like? You, you got to give the me an very, image. Yeah, wait, give so, me something. Wait, can I say the very the first, first one? one. Yeah. The first very one. first time. So funny. We were looking. At a house, there was an open house, and it was like a little um, wet outside. <laughs> from the rain. <laughs> there was a what? It was Bro. a little wet outside from the rain. And Yo, there were stairs going down. Like there was like stairs up to like. And the front this door. was like your peak. You were like hot <laughs> shit. <laughs> he thought he was. He, you had your camera. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, holy! Wait, wait. Sorry, I just and, faced that. And one. it was no, I didn't think I was hot shit coming down the stairs. And no, it was I said you no, were hot shit. No, you uh, were hot shit at the time. This was uh, then you were like, still are. You were feeling good. <laughs> oh, and it was this raining was before you, like you crying from Marvel movies. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, yeah. Okay, so what happened? Um, so we were. <laughs> I know what happened, but I was <laughs> <laughs> we were at the, uh, the seeing the house, and then go ahead, Bubba. Tell tell him what I, <laughs> <laughs> it was. I love it. I could see it so clearly. <laughs> the stairs were really steep. <laughs> <laughs> it was really slippery that day. You had this camera in hand? Camera yeah. in hand. The stairs were so steep, and right, he guys, took one. Come on, let's go. <laughs> guys, come on, we're leaving. <laughs> this is Well, let's go, guys. This isn't the house. We're leaving. <laughs> come on, we're not buying it. He was trying to make this royal exit, and he no, I was just walking down. <laughs> royal it, exit. It was a cartoon slip. It like, was a it, bat, and it was like it was both feet <laughs> higher than his head. It was like a like, banana slip. It was like yes. one of those, and it was like. <laughs> it wasn't like one or two steps. It like, just kept chugging down. It was the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, it was bad. And he, just, he stood up and was like, <laughs> just like played it off. No, like, I, wait, I don't yeah. remember. Wait, I don't remember him being embarrassed about that. Though. It was oh, the it was, face. It was the, the face. face. After. I can't explain it's, I, the I face. found it funny, but it was still really like it's embarrassing, you, but it's still funny. He likes to squint <laughs> a little harder yeah. when he's embarrassed. Like he's like he's laughing and he has his tongue out, but he squints. <laughs> I can see it. Well, we were. And you're already in that like house shopping like mode. Like, yeah, yeah I can buy this. This is a possibility. I'm not Who really these in. fucking stairs here. That's I'm, the thing. I'm pissed He's at the so real estate quick. guy. Yeah. You're so quick when you look at open houses. You're just like in and out, and you were just trying to move so fast, and it just <laughs> swoop bottom down. That's out. funny. What was the other time? It was that Pretty recent, right? There was something yeah. recent. It was when we were doing the, you're the doing lightsabers. the lightsaber TikTok. And it this doesn't sound embarrassing, but it's it 
<laughs> you went to like kneel on the floor, but you lost your balance. <laughs> you, just, oh, you just kept rolling back Dude, and like your why ass. Why are you so <laughs> disgusted? I can just I can feel because you felt embarrassed. And like because you're you're an athletic your, guy. Like you're. Everything you do, you like you're surprisingly you good over. at. Like when you uh -huh. fell over, you were like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like you were like disappointed in yourself. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's usually when I'm like on my ass or on my back. Yeah, when yeah. you're falling, because okay. that doesn't really happen. That's funny. It's hysterical. Yeah, I mean, if, to fall, like, <laughs> it's really, really embarrassing. Yeah, when you're over the age of like 15, falling is really embarrassing. There was, yeah. I don't know who it was, but there was a clip on YouTube. It was like a big actor or a big athlete. Like they were going up on stage and they tripped. And they got up and they got to the mic because they're like, they're accepting a word. And they go, honestly, there's really no cool way to get up from that. And like, <laughs> and they, <laughs> they pull up pretty bad. Yeah. And, and they like made like, that was like the, that's the best way to get out. Yeah. Of yeah. Like a fall is to be like, I'm fucked. Just yeah. admit that. Like, well, that's way. Yeah, yeah. Don't like, try to play it off like it didn't just happen. No, no, we no, all no. saw it. Dude, I just I just saw one where it was like a pageant. It was like a pageant <laughs> show. And this girl just, I just really want to reprint it. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. to the front and grabs the mic and goes <laughs> that, it, it was it was uh, yeah the worst it. thing you can do is like fall on your ass and then like pretend you have Try to tie your shoe yeah oh, or right, like, yeah. like, oh, like yeah. you meant to place yourself right there. right 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 you can't do that yeah that's, that's hysterical it's okay. not like dance when something goes wrong you don't you don't play it off <laughs> right but, right but i love that and thank you for yeah thank, you're welcome for opening up like that yeah <laughs> I mean, I didn't think we were going to get into that. But. <laughs> I didn't think we were going that deep. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor for this episode, Harry's. Have you looked in the mirror recently? Yeah, unfortunately. No, like really looked. <laughs> yeah. Well, that beard you grew out over the last year was a hot new thing for you. Yeah. For a minute anyway. But now it's just hot outside mm -hmm. and you need to tame that bad boy. Harry's can help. If you don't know Harry's, it's time you do. Harry's was created to be different from other shaving companies. Harry's crafts high quality, long lasting blades and durable weighted handles that make a close, comfortable shave quick and dare we say, enjoyable. It's so ergonomic. It feels so good. Look at that. Just clip it in. You got your blade cover. And when you're done with it, you just pop it back into this guy. So you're not pricking your finger when you're, you know, reaching in your ditty bag. Exactly. And it feels so nice. Look at this. You got five blades right here. It feels so good. Look at how smooth this is. It Come on. And because Harry's insists that you shouldn't have to choose between a great shave and a fair price, they just give you both. And the refill blades are as low as just two bucks. It's super easy to decide. Like, blades are really expensive when yeah. you're going to the store. They get I, pricey. I cannot believe how much it is. And you get it online, shipped right to your door for the low, low price of two bucks. And even easier, new Harry's customers get their starter set, which includes a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel with aloe, and a travel cover. It's a $13 value, all for just $3. Plus, Harry's offers a whole range of amazing face and body care products for men, all delivered right to your door. I honestly just found out that the uh, Harry's shave cream tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty good. Accidentally, I got home. <laughs> I got drunk the other night. Well, don't got, well, don't eat it. <laughs> the other night, I got home and I just it was on my counter because I had just shaved before going yeah. out. I grabbed it and I put it on my toothbrush and I started brushing. I'm like, oh, you mistakenly <laughs> you mistakenly put on oh instead my instead of my toothpaste. I was like, <laughs> but I'm using it all around. Well now, well now he doesn't have any hair in his mouth. <laughs> Actually, after this episode, I need to shave my beard real quick because uh, my hair grows back in literally three seconds. Yeah, I know. I mine, mine came back. I gotta. I think I'm gonna go clean again. But the thing is that when you get a close shave like that, your hair actually grows back faster. You heard? You, have you heard that? And it grows back thicker. I think. Mm -hmm. There's never been a better time to try Harry's. Go to Harry's.com/unfiltered to get their starter set for just three bucks. It's 100% satisfaction guaranteed, so you've got nothing to lose. Go to Harry's.com/unfiltered right now to get this special offer. That's H A R R Y S dot com slash unfiltered. Thank you, Harry's. We love you, and we love you even more for giving us a close, nice, clean shave. Mm. Let's talk about how we first met. Yeah. I feel like that's like the most appropriate thing for this. I, I was thinking about it, but then I was like, I feel like we talked about it so many times. We never on... told the full truth. Oh. Yeah, Zane and Heath made me do blow off their cocks. <laughs> Did they? Did you say couch or cocks? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, how we first met was who, who, who DM'd who? I, I think I think you you DM me no on Vine this was, this was Vine days no that couldn't have happened because you were so much bigger I wouldn't have even thought about DMing you Zane Zane DM David yeah you DM me because I was wondering which one because you guys had a joint because account. you showed up at the house and I was like who the fuck is this kid no I didn't even know you were he, no 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 he DM'd us what did I say you're like hey like hey I'm gonna be in town let's let's meet let's oh, Vine oh you know what maybe you followed me first and then I got the idea of like oh that's probably yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. followed you and then yeah and it was was I visiting or did I already live there you you I think I was visiting visiting yeah because I drove you to the airport yeah. 
Oh, you did. Yes, you did. Oh were my you a God. minor? I think you were 19. No? That's why no, I was like, was not 19. <laughs> well, you were oh, younger. You had braces, eight. though. Like I, I had braces. I was either 17 or 18. I could have been 17. No, I was 18. I just turned 18 so and I had crazy. braces. And my goal was I'd move out to LA when I got my braces off. Oh, that's cute. And then right when I, right when I, regardless, let me go back to meeting you guys. So yeah. I, yeah. So I came with Alex Ernst. Mm -hmm. Like I also met him and I was like, let's go visit LA together. <clears throat> and then we, we started talking to Zane and Heath, to one of you guys. And you told me to come by. And we were so excited to go to your place that I think we left where we were staying too early. So we were like an hour early. So we went to go like sit in the Jack in the Box. And I remember I, I really had to use the bathroom, um, number two. Yeah. So I went to go into the Jack in the Box bathroom. Um, and I just remember like that being like a big pivotal moment because I was in there like really nervous. Like I think I, I had to use the bathroom because I was nervous to meet you guys. You guys were like the first like big wow. anything I met. Doesn't that feel good, Heath? Like yeah. to be appreciated. Keep, 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 uh, keep going. I mean, like, like uh, I don't want to talk followers wise, but like you guys had like what three? F you guys were huge on Vine. Like three point six. <laughs> I don't remember. Exactly. Yeah. I don't remember. But three point six, four or five. <laughs> um, and I had like like not even a million, like not anywhere yeah. near it. And yeah, meeting you guys was like big. This was like a fucking huge thing. Um, so then we came over, and I remember. I think you peeked over the balcony, mm -hmm. right? And you saw me standing there with Alex. <laughs> just <Cat laughs> smoking. smoking a cigarette, most likely. Just yeah. <laughs> and I, and yeah, and you, I had a backpack on. Yeah, I remember the backpack. Dude, that's so fucking crazy. Isn't that insane? You came, you weird. looked like a little school kid. It was uh, like Heath and I looked at each other and smiled. They're like, oh my God, he's like really young. Yeah, how old were you guys? We were probably 21. 21, yeah, because we moved out at 21. And, yeah. yeah, and I remember I came in. Heath was on the balcony. He was, I remember. Probably smoking a cigarette, drinking chocolate milk. You yeah. were smoking a cigarette, <laughs> and I remember the second I opened the door, you were opening the door to come from the balcony to greet me. You still had the, you had the last. It was like, oh, my God, I met, I met him the same way. Yeah. Dude, that, I met, that's I met so him the funny. same exact way. Yeah, the last little pop. Dude, no. <laughs> just, like, just like one of them. I'm coming. Yep. How you doing? Yeah, like one of those. And then he's like, hey, I'm Heath. Super friendly, like to this day is like, the same way. Um, and yeah, and then we just sat on the couch. And I think quickly we got into talking about like how crazy Vine was. And like yeah. very quickly I found out how much you guys were making. I've always been fascinated with like how much people <laughs> we made. We were making Yeah, yeah we we're, we're living paycheck to paycheck. Oh, like, you guys. Okay, that's not how you guys made it seem when I met you. You don't remember that? <laughs> oh, well, oh you, I we, bet they made it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're probably, well, yeah, we're probably like. I think we heard how much other Viners were making, so we thought we had to be making that much. Um, oh, okay. David, you know what? No, no. We were, like, I think compared to Florida, right. we were making Florida. We, we were, were like, holy shit. Like, we were really excited. But yeah, living no. out here, it's so expensive where it and was And you just, had to split everything. Well, sorry. Yeah. By, by you guys making a lot, you guys used to say you used to go out to dinner every night. Like whether that was fast food or that was like anywhere, like you know, we would go grocery shop. No, we would get. I would go grocery shopping. <laughs> you would <laughs> Venmo. We, we we were roommates. We were a team. Well, um, I thought no, we that would was go a out lot. drinking every night. Every, yeah, drinking. That, okay. That's where our money I went. Was, that's insane. That was insane to me at the time because I remember like meeting like other friends like Scott and Todd for the first time. They would come over and I was making them grilled cheese and soups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, can I offer you something to eat? And I would make them grilled cheese and like some sort of soup like what, that I had in yeah. my Like we were a soup kitchen. I remember, I remember yeah. I called like my friends from my hometown and I was like, you have no idea how much money people are making out here. Like this is like the gold rush. People are fucking loaded. Like I just met. Have you guys heard of Los Angeles? <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> this I just, shit is crazy. <laughs> I just met Zane and Heath, and they're just like literally printing money here, making these vines. <laughs> and like I was told that like if out of college, if I got a job that paid me thirty five k a year, I'd be fucking rolling in it. That's no, it was a lot because in yeah. Florida we would make like what thirty twenty five k a year. Um. Yeah. So back in our party days, there was this person that lived with us. Um. Lived a couple floors down. Her name was Sydney. Sydney nice. that's good. Yeah, I remember Sydney. Um, Sydney would, <clears throat> this is going to sound bad, but keep in mind, this was a long time ago. Parties would happen. Like she would have cocaine mm -hmm. a lot. She single-handedly. <laughs> She's single? Got you knew she was single. Oh, oh he <laughs> oh, no, oh, baby, I wasn't the one. Uh, <clears throat> um, well, scandal. Wait. No. Everybody Wait. did. Which Sydney? Everybody? I didn't. <laughs> no, I, I didn't, I swear to God. I don't even believe it. I swear to God I didn't. Uh-huh. All right, anyways, continue. You always seem like you got the biggest scoop of Coke when we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so there's a time, whatever, we did that. It was stupid. Yeah, yeah it, it, was, it, it was It's stupid. behind us. It was embarrassing. Whatever. Um, but the, 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 the point of this story 
is she really wanted to be famous, I guess. That's, mm-hmm. that's a, yeah, that's what Don't she wanted to be. And she met somebody um, who could promise her that. Mm-hmm. And she met somebody. Have you ever heard this? No. She met somebody. This is crazy. And he was like, I know how to make you famous. And she's like, how? And he's like, we can turn you into anything. Like Scientology. We can, we can turn you, honestly. It, it may have been may something have been, like that. We can turn you into a singer, an actor, whatever you want. MTV's and, made. And, <laughs> yeah, really. I want to be made. <laughs> and one day he visited her, her apartment and he was like in a suit and tie. And I came in and I saw him in the suit. And then she's like, please leave. And she and she closed the door on me. So I left. And she came up to my apartment fucking sobbing. And she was like, this guy, please, you cannot repeat this. And for, for three years, I held the story to myself because I thought this guy was going to kill me. But they were like, if you ever repeat this, they'll kill me and they'll kill you and they'll kill anybody that you love. And she was sobbing to me. And she's like, there's this guy, he came to me. And he's like, he was telling me that, sorry, my headphones are going in and out. You hear that? It, you just got to get, get closer to it. Oh, okay. Um. She, she was like, this guy came to me and he's like, I can turn you into anything you want to be, but you have to sacrifice somebody. And I just spoke to my mother and my mom, my mom really supports me and she's like willing to be sacrificed so I can become like famous. a singer or whatever, famous, whatever. And she, this was completely serious and it was really fucking terrifying. Really, really terrifying. Like you believed her. Totally she, believed yeah. her. And and I didn't tell anybody until she she told you guys at dinner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, thank God she's telling somebody else because I did not want to fucking die with the secret. <laughs> you can't out. hold that for that long. Freaking out so much. And then and then one day we went to like a Hollywood party, and I don't want to say the names that were there, but they were like these big Hollywood guys who've been around for a really long time. Like, yeah. They're like when you think of like old Hollywood, these are the names that come up. Yeah. And she was talking to one of them. She was an attractive person, so. Um, so like uh, the guys at the party were like into her and they're like listening to what you're saying. And she was just like, yeah, I was approached by the Illuminati. And, and this one guy goes, please do not, do not listen to anything they have to say. They ruined my best friend's life. And he was referring to Michael Jackson and he's like, they ruined my friend's life. They're horrible. Pe-. And it was fucking in. And I was sitting there. This was like four a 4 a.m. conversation. <laughs> and I was sitting there just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God, like I fucking, I need to go I tell think, somebody. I don't think I'm supposed to be here listening to this. Stressing out. And I mean, that's kind of where it got to. Like that was like the climax of it. But it was like a really serious thing that she like really kept a secret. And like now I've been around enough and I've gotten to like ask like a lot of like celebs that I met about the Illuminati because mm-hmm. I've always been so curious. Right? Yeah. Like, like that's like such a big thing. Like every, <laughs> every time I meet any big celeb, like my fourth question in is like Illuminati, real, fake. And always same answer. It's always the same answer. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody, every no matter who they are, everyone always says that because it says a joke. So yeah, um, but but yeah, that was like a really creepy thing. And I remember she told you guys. What did yeah. you guys think when she told you? Were you there? or Was it just that- the thing is that we we weren't out here for a long time, so we kind of I feel like we kind of believed it, right? Because you know we haven't met that, that many parties. We haven't met that. I many still people. think there's some weird shit going on. I okay. I agree that I, I'm sure there's there's definitely an Illuminati. There's definitely a world order or whatever. Like there needs to be. Like someone needs to keep everything in check in some way or another. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't. I don't see that. That's that crazy. I just don't think it's like anybody that has reached any amount of success is rubbing shoulders with Illuminati. I think yeah. it's like the people you don't see. Like I think it's like the top 100 people in the world that control everything that like you haven't even fucking heard about. I don't think it's like Jennifer Lawrence or Billy Eilish, like yeah, yeah, or Billy Eilish or like George Clooney. Like I don't think it's like maybe George Clooney. I just I I I, I don't think it's like the people that like come up and blow out of nowhere like sold their soul. I don't. How are they communicating? A group chat, like emails. And if it's a hundred people, why has not one person? Because if it's the Illuminati, someone's getting fucked over. Somebody would get pissed if they were the, in the Illuminati and, and, and something didn't happen and be like, you know what? I got proof. And they would share all that shit. Either everybody in the they Illuminati is getting happened. treated. Oh, yeah. Or so they're scared to uh, because bro, they're fucking but, threatened. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there could be a numerous explanations for Was that. Was this Sydney girl that talented? To Wait, go- hold on, hold on. Hypothetically, like I'm just saying, like I'm not saying yes, I believe or no, I don't. Um, but say you you were in the mindset that you would do anything to become famous, become this superstar, have all the money, fame in the world, whatever you wanted. And you said yes to it when you were young and you were given it. You were living on top of the world, number one, whatever you wanted to do. And the only thing was you couldn't talk about it. You couldn't say anything. 
And if you did ever come out and be like, yes, I have proof the Illuminati is real. I fucking did. Or they would kill your entire family, everybody you love. Every Where are Illuminati murders? Show them to me. <laughs> I mean, it's, dude. Uh, it's it's like, I feel like they're set up. They're, they they look all, like accidents. This they is look also like, all. Because you're in it. You. <laughs> this is what they told you to do is to come <laughs> on the and be like. <laughs> not filtered. Yeah, you're and making. And plant the seed. And make it seem like kind of a conspiracy. (laughs) So he's going to list off all the big celebrities that say, yeah, it's real. And then (laughs) and then dispute it. I'm just here to cover for Jennifer Lawrence. You just said Michael Jackson. Um, No, no, no. It's uh, no. That's crazy, Matt. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Um, Only a fool would believe that. (laughs) It sounds like an inside joke. Like if I was as big as Beyonce and like I was hanging out with like the next Billie Eilish, she'll be like, hey, come back for taking a shot. Welcome to the Illuminati as like a joke. Time out, time out. I don't think when when I'm saying Illuminati. Not not, Beyonce. No, Beyonce has to be in the Illuminati. Hold on. Who is in it? No, when I'm saying Illuminati, I don't mean like they... They dress in capes and they're like, we're the Illuminati. No, no, we like, know. It, it yeah. could literally be like friends getting together for dinner and they're like, what are you doing with your business? What are you doing? Like, it could be that. It's just the Illuminati is like, it's like just, it's a placeholder for whatever it could be. I'm yeah. not saying they worship Society the devil. Society makes it seem satanic. Yeah, yeah like I'm not but saying it literally that. Could be no, I think it's just like super, super like wealthy elites that It could also be like a really do- cool thing, like a super exclusive club. Like they go on yacht trips. But they're killing people. They're sacrificing people. Matt, I thought but, you but, said but, they weren't killing people. But, uh, Matt, I think there's correct, that's but the you're, you're but saying that's it's the, a cool thing, but you're like also no, 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 but there's that's sacrificial the conspira- shit. It's, it's but, but no, no, I think there's layers to this shit. I think what she was, I think the man she was interacting with was a scam. But I also she was interacting with somebody that may have had a real encounter with like somebody. I don't know. Yeah, I just think that there's like. That and Illuminati is like what you describe it to be. Just like different religions have different gods, right? It's like it's God is the name for people that they believe in. The I wonder power. if she like Has went. Has anyone checked she, in on Sydney? Uh, yeah, we actually. Her mom's not doing well. <laughs> Stop. Oh god. Um, Sydney's actually Billy Eilish. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if she if she did go through with it, like what would have happened? You know what I mean? Like how would that have taken place? Her mom being sacrificed. I don't think her mom ever would have been sacrificed. Oh okay. I, I like, think it's just to say that it was the commitment that you were willing to do whatever. I think you it's want. just like you you say something so obscure and so crazy. And then to make them think, and then you yeah. ask her to wire you thirty thousand dollars, and then I think the guy leaves with your money. I think that's what happens. Got it. Okay. Like there's, there's, this is the worst thing to compare it to. But there was one time. Do you, do you know those commercials that would air on like radio stations? It's like, <laughs> does your son or daughter want to be a Nickelodeon star? Yes. Oh no! I remember like What'd sneaking. I auditioned. Your mom sent money to that? No, I auditioned, and everybody gets it. Everybody gets it. Yeah. And, and I remember, dude, it's so fucking I think fucked. I called too. It's so fucked. Like I went into an audition room and they had me do whatever. I was like. Showed your feet, everything. Everything. Four to, <laughs> yeah. I was like 14 or 15 years old. And then I got a call like a week later and I I had the phone. There was two phones. I had the one upstairs and I could hear my mom on the phone downstairs. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they were like, hi, we're calling about your son. He auditioned a week ago. And I. And my mom was like, yes. <laughs> and, and they were like, we love him. And she was like, <laughs> like, oh my God. I've never fucking heard my mother be more excited for me Every in my entire life. Every kid is like perfect for the job. But a complete. That's but so where does it funny. go? Like what happens? They invite you back to the office and they show you a program that you pay $50,000 for throughout the next year where oh. they set you up in classes and they possibly put you in front of other casting directors. It's Damn. a fucking a scam. scam. Did oh anybody God. get big from the scam? I'm very curious about that. I'm sure maybe that there are people like- but That's not the way to go. <laughs> yeah, but that's not the way to do it. Um, you mean it's kind of like paying for a college that's hundreds of thousands of dollars? <laughs> And you come out Hoping without a to job. To get the job. <laughs> they probably get so many families like that. Yeah, tons. It's fucking crazy. But that's what I imagine that that girl had that encounter with the Illuminati. I imagine it's the same fucking shit. Just a scam in LA. That makes sense. But it was scary at the moment. Yeah. And there was other people involved that would that were kind of like backing up what she was saying. So they so you, so your mom paid the money and then you got the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Award. <laughs> yeah. So it did work. <laughs> oh my god, it did work. I never said anything about the time. I, I really want this Illuminati thing to really happen for you and for you to finally get in that moment and then like no, I'm come ca- back and be like, <laughs> I went to the David media. posts like Illuminati induction. Like what? Like, <laughs> the thumbnail for this uh, yeah, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. 
the side. You guys don't know what's on the other side. Uh, what is it? The, what, what's the? Uh, they, there's, they do like the, the what, this one. Oh, yeah, this the, one. The, yeah. the triangle. Someone watching this now is probably like, oh my god, they're trying to. They're doing they're it. They're trying to get away with it with humor. We're like, what is it? Is it See? this one? <laughs> I don't. I don't really know it, but is it? <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing this. The help side. <laughs> Um, stop. I have to reverse everything I just said. <laughs> um, do they still do it today? The Nickelodeon I think they auditions? do. I, I still hear shit mm. like that. But I also don't think people I don't think like crave to be Nickelodeon stars as much as they want to be a TikTok star. Oh, that's true. You know, there's now it's the, is your kid going to be a YouTuber? Well, yeah. I always say like, it's so interesting how we don't see like the new like Seth Rogans or like the new like young like writers. It's because people aren't writing. Yeah. They're just, if they have a funny idea, they just make a TikTok. Exactly. Like why write a fucking screenplay when you can get it out? Do you think we're going to find them? I yes. I mean, those, I don't know. Those kids on TikTok are now he gets so the new, upset. Uh, <laughs> they're now doing the digital shorts for SNL. Oh, here's a good argument. Well, yeah. That, like, oh, I, I feel oh. like that's rare. I, I rarely see that. Here's, like, here, here, here's a good thing. Um, do you, Good thing. Good thing to argue about. Um, do you? Here's a good thing. Right. Do you think that? Do you think that, like top TikTok stars? I'm not gonna say names because I don't want to yeah. do that. But like, do you think they're celebrities? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we're. I think we're all biased because we're kind of well celebrity. No, like the, the definition of celebrities is a well, very well known person. That everybody. Yeah. There's certain TikTokers where everybody in the world knows their name. I think they're internet That's stars. Fame. Well, I was well, they are I don't, internet celeb star. I think celebrity, you have to, like, how long has TikTok been around? What, well, like, hold on. Like two, two, well, two or three uh, years? What's the definition of a celebrity? A famous person. A famous person. Okay. okay. A celebrity chef is what it says what underneath. What a cheap definition. <laughs> and we have, oh, and we have Millie, we have Millie Bobby. <laughs> Celebrity right. is a condition of fame and broad public recognition of an individual yeah. or group as a result of attention think, given to them by to that chick media. who's like the third, the second image right there. <laughs> I think the main argument that people have with like TikTok stars not being celebrities is because they got it so easily. Yeah. But also there's a lot of celebrities that like they were just at the right place at the right time yeah. too. Yeah. Tough Courtney titties. Cox. Yeah. I like, don't think she got famous. That's people that have been doing it and they haven't gotten their shit yet. I, I don't want to get into like the statistics of what celebrities great and what's not. But like I think that there's also something cool about like the public um, putting you on a platform rather than one person in the casting room. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I, I, agree. I think there's something interesting about that. Like, isn't that more? Choice. Of, isn't yeah. that more of a celebrity than like a really famous or a really like high powered individual going like I'm gonna make you a star? Industry like, plan. Isn't there more? Isn't there more power in the people electing you? Absolutely. As like a celebrity. That's why I think it's so confusing when people are like. She's not a celebrity. It's like, yeah, she is. You're fucking talking about her. She's yeah. on the news. It's all people write about. It's all people care about. You love to hate her. You love to love her. That's what a Definition fucking celebrity, celebrity is. Yeah. You're, yeah. This sounds like an Illuminati meeting, by the way. But regardless, I, I will say, like, I was so stoked on meeting you guys. Like, it, that was the scariest part about coming out to L.A. or, like, anything was I, I've said this a million times, but like I've I've always thought that I could be friends with like any friend group, like I, yeah. like whatever. <clears throat> like I feel like most of us, all of us can. Yeah. And like that always stressed me out because I didn't want to be friends with the wrong crowd. Right. Was, That's like, what's really yeah. tough. Very and I was important. so happy because I was like, when you go to college, whoever your <clears throat> dorm room mate is or whatever, that's going to be your friend for the rest of your fucking life. Yeah. So like I was so scared of moving out to LA. I was like, I really hope I don't fall into the wrong crowd. Mm. That was my biggest fear. And I'm so happy like to this day that like I met you guys and I met everybody else. Like I think about like, that all the time too. Yeah. Like, so, so fucking unbelievably lucky. We've said this before, but I think that's like <clears throat> the coolest thing about like our friend group is like we became friends and then started making content together. Like, Which I feel like is totally opposite of what people yeah. are doing now. They're <clears throat> like, I'm going to be friends with them because I need to make content with them because they're doing well and it's going to like, but I, I feel like it, it, it's such a genuine friendship we all had, and then we all kind of started expanding together. Did y'all collab the first moment you met, though? Like, no. Did you guys make a Vine that night? Heath and I didn't really collab with other Viners. We kind of stuck to ourselves, and then we would like want to meet up to be friends, like not to really make yeah, content. And yeah, and that's like kind of the way you like <clears throat> should approach it, like with creators, because yeah. sometimes it feels so transactional when like some you're meeting someone and they're like, "Oh, I want something from you." Well, like I it think... is done when the people who you really do like, you're like, "Let's just hang out," because like. I enjoy yeah. being around you, and then it comes. No, we and that wasn't a lot of people. Like when, like when we invited David over, we haven't had that many people over. Well, I think that, that. Yeah, <clears throat> I think what you're saying is, and what you're saying is to the point is like you guys had me over because you guys found similarities. In our yeah, time. yeah, you just right. had funny shit. And, and, we're that, like, oh. and that's why you had me over. Like I, 
I was going to do nothing for you guys, like transactionally. Like I was not going to help you guys in any way. Like you guys just yeah. had me over because you wanted to hang out. And yeah. that's why it worked. And like very rarely did we meet up with people. I mean, there was definitely <clears throat> moments where we like collab with people that were, it was just like, oh, this person has a following. So, I have a following. Let's like merge them. Yeah. But, like, so what you're saying is you would directly contribute your success to meeting us? Yeah, it's all you guys. Great. Damn. Heard it here nice. first. Wow, that felt That's all the time we have. <laughs> Little <laughs> <different>. <laughs> That's it's, all we it, need. We got it, boys. It's crazy watching your first <laughs> vlog, though, and like just seeing how we were all acting. We were so comfortable with each other. Well, like, it, just see, it was just, like, like we were like we were already all just like just like arms around each other, just like laying on the couch, and that was like vlog number one. Normally, me it's with like, my mullet mohawk. I'm dead. Well, why I was so lucky that the vlog worked is I remember <clears throat> we got word that Vine was dying, right? Like that was like the rumor, and I remember everybody started panicking. Like Zane, I use you as an example all the time. Like you, you, you like wrote scripts and would rent out like restaurants and have like <laughs> dude i was just telling like, heath about the it, there was a race to transition to youtube and zane you're like you were like panicked right like, yeah i was doing i was panicking yeah yeah it was scary and and it, you're it, talking about like the like the moments i was like trying to do those facebook videos yeah mm -hmm. you, you were just yeah you were that trying was to make like like funny or die sketches happen like on your own and it's just like but like i knew i wasn't good at it and i was like i have to do this because everybody else is you doing made this. you made it feel like work and that's yeah. what that's what like scared me and i was like Fuck that! I'm never doing fucking YouTube. And then one of our one of our friends had a vlog camera, and I just started messing around with it. And I remember filming like even some of my close friends that were living with me, or even mm -hmm. you guys. And you guys were almost like annoyed that I was filming. We like, just weren't like we weren't not, used to it. We yeah. didn't know what was happening. But that's what was so good about it is like nobody was like we have to do this. It was just like so casual. It was like annoying David with his camera. Yeah, and, like, that's what was so fun about the vlogs in the beginning. Yeah, was like all the jokes would be like. For the first hundred vlogs, all the vlogs were like, fuck your videos. Like, we don't want to be in this. Like, even from like, remember like Eric Artel, we'd go to collab yeah. and everyone was like, who watches these stupid things? And we go to like, we'd visit colleges and it was the best going to visit a college with Alex because people didn't care to be on camera. Yeah, they and love they, the camera. Yeah. They, no, they, they didn't like it. Oh, they didn't in college? No, they didn't like it. In the they, beginning. They were like, oh. it's like so annoying. Yeah. Like they were like, it what was are you still guys? new too. Like, yeah. what are you guys oh, okay. It wasn't yeah. a thing to like. And, right. and that made it so fun. Like one of my favorite things was like going to frat parties and being kicked out, like being like, you guys are four dudes. You can't come in. Like, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> and like, <laughs> and, and, and that was what was so cool about vlogging is it was so organic because we were just doing it just to fuck around. And mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I needed to. And you guys didn't feel like you needed to play in it. Right. Yeah. And it was just like, that's why it, like, it was so fun to make. And it was that, was that was definitely my favorite about like your early vlogs was that it was literally everything was so raw of you capturing our friend group, just saying the yeah. most obscure things and like us just literally just talking with each other. And it was you call moments better back then than now. I feel like right because yeah, it, you would because always have then it got to the point where it was like fuck. <clears throat> I need to cut this down. It's got to be quick. I got to get as much in it as I can <laughs> the to meet my like four minute twenty second mark. And we would if we would say something funny, but we would just tweak it real quick just to like get quicker to it. You know what I mean? I think I think then like. Are you talking about later as like the vlogs went on? Like way later. Yeah. Once it like like after two years. I think what got tougher with that too is like is like people would get in their heads. Like like I'd come over, like I even like an example with Zane. Like I'd come over with Zane and I'd just be shooting the shit with him. Like usually I just sit down. Like yeah. People, people don't yeah. <clears throat> people don't understand this about like when we make the videos. Is everyone's always like, "Why is David laughing?" And it's like I only laugh when I find it funny. Like there's six hours of footage where we're just like being really boring yeah. and we can't come up with anything exactly. funny. Yeah. Like if you saw that, you'd be like, oh, David never laughs. Like there's never any laughter. Right. Um, but like there, it got to the point where like I would sit in the car and we'd try to like shoot the shit with like Zane. I remember. And Zane would be like, oh, I'm not funny. And I'd be like, Zane, just like calm down. Like everyone would get so in their heads yeah. about like- you're, ta you're talking about like uh, yeah, once, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, like about like getting that, that funny moment where yeah. it was like really difficult. And like, that's how I got too. Like it was like, I need this specific funny thing to happen. And like, that's why I, I, I'm not vlogging on the main channel anymore is cause like, I want it to be like more laid back. Like I'm, I don't like, yeah. I don't like that there's like a rhythm and there's like a cadence to the vlogs now. I don't like that there's like almost like a rubric I have yeah, to Yeah, I really like how you fun. set it up now. Yeah, like, I like, I, it's so much easier to watch and I feel like I'm enjoying everybody in it more it's than- It's just a lot more casual. Yeah. And it got so <clears throat> like, it got so like, <laughs> it was still organic, but it was still like, like I was like, fishing for those moments right. where mm -hmm. like I was like, and like, I felt like you had like, it was like big shoes to fill too. Like if 
someone's watching a four minute, 20 second vlog, it, everything better be fucking hilarious or right. yeah. which kind of like sucks. It is funny though, like <clears throat> thinking about that, like I never really like paid attention, but like we would sit down, you would come over and you'd sit with the camera and be like, let me talk to you for a second. And you would just like sit here and we would just like talk. It, it, it was, and then you would just like, oh, you, just oh like, when he would have it right. Yeah. Under, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, I've always yeah. here so you can make eye contact with me. Yeah. And it was, yeah, like sit. And with, we would just sit and talk for like a long time. Yeah. And you would just like ask questions. And with different people, it was different things. Like yeah. with right. you guys, with you, it was like you're drinking with Jason and I. Like Jason and I will just sit in the car and just insult each other for like 40 minutes and mm -hmm. like hope an insult lands. Or like with Jonah and Natalie, or like they'll just like be mean to each other and hope something is like funny. And like we actually enjoy doing that. Yeah. But it like, <laughs> it, it's like, but yeah, that's what it was. Like it was just like, it was so always interesting. It was always going to Todd's room. Todd was on his bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was something about Corinna. Yeah. It was so fun. And like, we don't do that anymore because like now everything, like, you can't just be sitting on a bed. You have to be like in an airplane <laughs> on a private jet. <laughs> <laughs> Getting out of a. <laughs> but, but I think that comes with like age. Like, I think like that's how we were at the time. And yeah. I think now we're like, we're a lot more like, you guys all have like, you know, rent mortgages like jobs you're starting promote almost like, almost 30 yeah like it's it's just times crazy. are changing yeah. and like i don't know that's why i say i don't cry i'm having a quarter life crisis like i want to change like how i make content mm -hmm. that like reflects like where i am in my life today and yeah. i think that's like difficult to figure out but it's yeah. like really exciting and like yeah reinventing yourself we're all fucking like adults now and that fucking insane <laughs> yeah. Like that's crazy. <laughs> I can't imagine like any of my friends married with kids. There's just, like it doesn't. I can't imagine that in my brain. It doesn't look right. I always think you're gonna be the first to get married. Me? Yes. I think you're gonna meet somebody, and in three months, it's gonna be go time. No. No way. way. Yeah. No, no way. way. Zane will be the. I'm not last. a person that fucking marries after three months. I'll be the last. But person no, here. the thing is, Zane, fucking cut to you're gonna Zane no would way. be the type to find a girl, and in three months, she would ask him to marry her, no. and he would be like, "Yes," <laughs> like because you would find some like oh, yeah. interesting type. And shit. I was like, "Oh, I want, I want to see if she." Yeah, see if she's you would ask. find somebody that would propose to you. <laughs> yeah, but that would only happen if like one of us or like all of us are married though you know what i mean i don't know. like the moment david gets married you're gonna be like i need to find a wife <laughs> Me? yes like oh, yeah. you, you yeah. Love, like oh david gets out like, i need to get a house oh david got a house. i need an assistant i bought like, a house because it was a split I investment a i know but, you, got but if david <laughs> is doing it Take you're like more. i gotta i gotta <laughs> no there's no i i i have my money on on you getting married first I don't know. It's always, I feel like okay, it's like that. Wait, well, you we're, got we're not money there. on it. Because if I, there's I'll money, I'll bet against <laughs> it. And that's not going to happen. That sounds like a pretty easy bet that he's going to be the first. I just think. Hey, Matt, now it's sounding a little rude. Let's let's tone it down a bit. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> let's tone it down a bit. How much do you want? $100,000? I'll bet it right now. <laughs> Jeez, I'm going to propose this to Patricia tomorrow, so that wouldn't count. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Uh, I can't bet him. I'm but what about you? <laughs> How's your dating life? <laughs> I saw that as one of the notes. David's dating life. What is he mainly looking for? <laughs> what, a, what a transition. <laughs> My like, dating life? Yeah, like, where are the girls you're talking to? I, I heard, heard like, about who you hooked up with, though. Who? Like, like, like you're talking about, like... He doesn't hook up with people. Yeah, he's, he's a virgin. <laughs> he's I, a Ken doll. He doesn't have a wiener. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What, just, do you, what do you mean? Like, uh, like a specific person? Recently. Like, two weeks ago, the girl you hooked up with? What? I'm making this up. Oh, okay. oh, oh. I was just so curious to, to see what kind of reaction it would get Who, on the David. Yeah, he he's like, huh? The next sponsor of this episode is brought to you by Mac Weldon. You're a busy guy, so stop thinking about what you're wearing and just embrace the radically efficient Mark Weldon daily wear system. The daily wear system is a selection of clothes rooted in smart design made with performance fabrics and built to work together. They've got breathable t-shirts, polos, stylish button-ups, shorts, and underwear, and beyond. Mac Weldon makes it easy for you to dress for work, leisure, and play, or wherever summer takes you. I really love the long sleeves and the socks. Oh they're my. super comfortable. Dude, their oh socks my. are so nice. It's like really good quality. Yeah, and I like I like how thin it is too, because especially, you know, for the summer, it's like, it's just yeah, nice. It's light, it's breathable. Mm -hmm. oh. And you know what? I've been able to focus on things that matter to me because they make it so easy to shop on their site. Ooh, and for the lazy Sundays when you just want to get cozy, they got the Ace Sweat Shorts. They got a modern tailoring and pair perfectly with their ultra soft, ultra premium 
Pima tees. For weekend travels both near and far, their silver knit polo and radius shorts are the perfect high-tech, high-packable combo. So if you want to buy some time this summer with Mack Weldon Daily Wear System, you can get it for 20% off your first order when you visit MacWeldon.com slash unfiltered and enter promo code unfiltered. That's MacWeldon.com slash unfiltered. Promo code unfiltered for 20% off. Mack Weldon, radically efficient wardrobe and baby. So buy some time and buy some Mack Weldon. Thank you, Mack Weldon. Yeah, no, there's nobody that was two weeks ago. I know. So it's it's <laughs> yeah. a pretty dry spell going we know. on here. I kick him around. You know what's <laughs> weird? I've never seen you kiss somebody. Really? Yeah, no. Huh. Oh, yeah, never. Wait, I don't yeah, think I, I, I had a girlfriend. No, I don't even yeah, think I, I saw you kiss her. I didn't see you kiss her either. <laughs> I never did. I never saw you, it. I was like, you, are they together? Because I never <laughs> see them. You definitely Something. kept it. My God. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I definitely never saw it. Mm, what the fuck? My bad. Like, <laughs> just bring over people and just start kissing them. <laughs> hey, Heath, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I just, See, I just start I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ilya in a way. Yeah. Um, I've seen you kiss dudes, actually. Yeah. I've kissed you. I've kissed you. I mean, I've definitely kissed guys, but like, 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 what's a moment you'd see me kiss a girl in front of you? I don't know. Just like at a party, I, we'd look over yeah. me and, and be like, oh, 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 look at him go. Oh, yeah. It would just never. be an exciting moment to like. For us to see. Who was, your, who was your first kiss? Uh, this girl named Haley. Haley? Yeah. Where's she at now? Do you think she's, she's a she brags about? <laughs> No, because it was a horrible kiss. Yeah, but she probably still brags about it. So it was a makeout? Like it was a makeout. Oh, every, so your first kiss was a makeout? Well, everything happened to me in the same year. Isn't that kind of like how it happens? Like or no? Like it wasn't like, kind of, for yeah. most people. It wasn't like when I was 15, I got my kiss and then first makeout, 16, like yeah. 17, I most had my people, first yeah. makeout, and then I lost my virginity yeah. like, in like four months. Whoa. 17? Yeah. I lost mine 18. He was, to Haley? <laughs> Did you lose them bases? You lost it to Haley? No, no, no. It was another girl. Oh yeah. She went Whoa, to another yeah. school. She, she did. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Haley went to a different school. Yeah, Haley must have been devastated. <laughs> no, I didn't have sex with Haley. I only made out with her. Okay. <laughs> I had sex with a girl named Patricia. Uh, no, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I, I don't know. My sex story wasn't good. It wasn't a good one. Actually, it's terrible. It was all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're very private about like. Yeah, I like to be private. Too private. Kind I want to know. I want to know these. Kind of suspicious. Yeah. A little. Um. What well, What do you want to know? Like, uh, I'm an open book, yeah, even though I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um. What do I look for in, in a person? Yeah. Um. This is my, my 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 favorite thing is like is um. I've I've told you guys this before. Small petite. <laughs> no, I think no, I know. Passionate. What it, I think I know what it is. Superhero passions are so fucking important. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I don't care if that. you're into collecting like glass turtles. Like if like there's something that you just absolutely fucking love, it is so attractive. Mm -hmm. Like something you just want to spend all your day doing. But I think it's really attractive when like, and I know you'll, I know you'll agree with this completely. Mm -hmm. It's like when you bring somebody over to meet your friend group and just like how they vibe and how they interact. Oh yeah. And like I, I don't necessarily need them to be the funniest person. But like, I need them to be self-aware enough where like, if they make a joke that falls flat, they can like backpedal their way out of the yeah. joke. I think that is the most attractive thing in the world. It's like falling and not tying your shoe, but standing up and being like, that was fucking awkward. Like, it's like yeah. right. that mentality, like having so Humility. much self-confidence yeah. that like, you, that I think is so attractive. Yeah. And I feel like you want your friends to like her more than you. Like yeah. you want, bro, you're always so in your head about you that. You always what? say that. You always, every, what? No, I, but I agree with you. Huh, what, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> he starts crying. No, like, <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> no, like, 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 when I'm just like, why don't you like bring a girl over? And, and you're always like, I'm so. You guys are so judgmental. Yeah, you're like, yeah. I was like, when am I? Oh ever yeah, because you guys can be. That's why. You're like, no, I'm always never. so worried. About, you're always so worried about what a girl like. You're always. I'm always so worried about what you're going to think about the girl and like how she's going to interact with you guys. Like you always say that, which I get, but like, but I feel like that's kind of every, everybody thinks about that. No, everyone does. Right. But like that's, I even that had to tell you and Todd, when I started dating Patricia, I'm like, she's coming over. I need you yeah, guys it's to like, get it's along important. with her. Yeah, it's because important. sometimes, you know, we're, we're scared of strangers. Sometimes yeah. we're like, I don't know who that person is. Hi, who are you? But I'm like, this is someone I like and I want them to like you. So, yeah. And I feel like if you told us that, like, I feel like that's what prevents you from bringing like girls around us no there's just not anybody that i've like okay, been that's very interested too. in yet so well what do you look for alive breathing <laughs> someone good start who, <laughs> good start someone that likes to he wants a mariah <laughs> i want to <laughs> really? i want to um i want to <laughs> 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 i was scared
scared to even do that joke <laughs> just That's because funny. I didn't want him to see that. Um, I didn't want him to see that. Um, <laughs> I think personality, just like very, yeah. I think personality is like very, very important. I also think like someone that can um, like argue with you about things. Like I love like getting, like I love like someone with different viewpoints. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, oh I think, yeah. I think I like not a pushover. Oh, Matt, you love I think, that. I think that's yeah. so attractive. Not yeah. to like argue, but I, I yeah, I like. Yeah, like what? Patricia and I were like complete opposites, but I like it. Yeah, that's you know? so cool. Like what's your point of view on this? And then she'd be like, well, it should be like this. And you're like, what? Fuck no. Like that, like that. And being in a safe space. Yeah. yeah. And being yeah, yeah. in a safe space to argue where it's like, you're not getting angry, but it's just fun being like, oh, you want to go right now? Let's yeah. go. Yeah. And it's like theatrical, but fun where it's like, you're not really trying to like hurt them. No, I love that. I think that's so cool. Um, Can I use the bathroom? I, yes. Yeah. I Thank you. Yes. Please perfect. only me alone with him. <laughs> So, Mariah, you're single? Was it oh, the two worst was people we left with. <laughs> <laughs> we can't make conversation. So, Heat's girlfriend, right? Cool. <laughs> Heat? Heat, can, can you come back? Hot sauce? What did I miss? What was everybody yelling at me for in the bathroom? It's really um, awkward with me, Mariah. Mariah, and David, Mariah and David were having a little like cute thing going on. How's the coffee? Um, it actually just launched last week. We well, on no, this no, podcast, no, it, it's it's launching tomorrow, but wow, this when, is by like the some tenant shit. But last yeah. Wednesday, la was it Wednesday or Thursday? Last Wednesday or Thursday, we got it back, like co like legally. It's yours. We got it totally got it back. Do people know what happened? Yeah, yeah. We talked about there's it last there's episode. still uh, stuff we can't really like go into. Um, uh, yeah, so it's fully back up. If you guys want to get it, uh, KromataCoffee.com. It's the best coffee I've ever had. He doesn't Thank like you. coffee. It's the only <laughs> coffee I've ever had. We got it. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all gotta update those packages. <laughs> like, <laughs> just wait, just wait, Matt. Just wait. Yeah. This is like a perfect first package because it looks like it's the first, and like. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, we, 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 we literally knew that. Yeah. We knew that. We that's why it it's so good. That. It's like you could tell that you're gonna like. Um, pick it up yeah, we've yeah. we've been busting our ass on this stuff. Just wait. And there's a line of cocaine on it. <laughs> oh yeah, Matt, we thought it was really funny that there's that. a line of cocaine on there. Oh, that is right on the Komodo. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was on purpose too. After we saw it, we're like, oh wait, that looks like it. That's cool. We'll keep it. That's how we came up with the idea one night. <laughs> we're just. Come on up. Yeah, go for a cup of coffee. <laughs> um, you know what I love though? What is the fact that <laughs> airplane food? <laughs> God, peanuts. Um, <laughs> uh, getting to do something like this with you, it, it feels good because I feel like you're you're one of my best friends. We Thanks. don't. <laughs> the fuck is that? We said one, bro. One Chill. Of... He can't. Oh yeah, yeah You sorry. can't be all of his best friends. <laughs> um, Put the camera off me. <laughs> But like getting like together and like sitting down and like just like talking about like life and just stuff like this, like I feel like it doesn't happen very often with you. Like you're kind of like reserved. Really? Like we hang out a lot. I feel like, but we, I talk, feel like I feel like we talk about that. I feel like he doesn't like open up too much. I think because well, he's yeah, he's a private person. I think I do more with Zane. But like Ouch. Well, I, you're, well you you're guys, not you're not around. Yeah, you guys are always doing coupley things. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you guys. Like, are, what, like, what were we doing last night? Were you, were you at someone's Halloween house? We were watching like, a movie. Y'all went, exactly. oh. went to Brock Hampton's Halloween party. I was on them, not me. Oh, but yeah, we, <laughs> a little jealous about that. You didn't get an invite? <laughs> no, that's embarrassing. What's well, Patricia's best friend? Um. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's either Texas or Patricia. Yeah. No, no Patricia's friend. Patricia's friend. Patricia. Patricia's friends. <laughs> I feel like we have those moments a lot. No, like don't we? Recent, recently, we've been opening up more. Yeah, I, th I think <laughs> I. <laughs> I, just saw I like love that. the way. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think a lot of our a lot of our conversations recently are like like how different LA feels like going out. Like my my friends just moved here. Yeah, and like I'm just like I'm so sorry that like like the city feels like it's like dead or it feels like it's like yeah. It's You're like used to it. You know every corner. You've mm -hmm. been. To are every you sure? Party. Are you sure we're used Bro, to it? It feels like Halloween Town when it goes black and white. Like it just that, that's what yeah. LA feels like right now. And I don't know. And I'll ask people at parties. I'm like, is, does this feel weird to you here, or is it just like, is it just me? <laughs> because like, it, it feels strange. And what do they say? Um, it's like a mix. Got like, it. Like, like they kind of get it. But, but I feel like these TikTokers are having the time of their life right now. Of course. Well, right? they're, 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 new. they're new to here. it. Yeah. I think that's what it is. But I don't know. And I think like, I, I just don't think people like go out as much. Like, like I'm telling you, like even <clears> like Stas, like Stas is now takes world. She's like a world traveler. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> World renowned. Traveler. She's not pulling up like to Saddle Ranch anymore. She's yeah. in Mykonos or she's in Paris mm -hmm. or like you know like people are doing crazy things. And even like the new TikTok kids are like, they're not like experiencing LA <laughs> here. Like they have opportunities now to like travel to Paris. Oh uh, yeah, travel to Paris <clears throat> or like have brand deals in Australia right. and like crazy mm -hmm. things. So it's it's a lot different. But we miss we miss that gap, huh? 
Yeah, it went right by us. <laughs> right by us. <laughs> yeah, but bro, we, we had so much fun. No, we did. We did because it was oh, like it was, we, it, was, so fun. it was our world. Like or it, we were doing our own thing. Like, I want to go back got... to like shitty dive bars. What was yeah. your What was your favorite? Like, what was like your favorite? Like two three months in in your life in LA. Like when? Like what were we doing? Where you're like, yeah, this is it. Like this was like the peak of like three months before the pandemic hit. Really? Three months before. Oh. What was that? I, I, either, you don't remember so like specific. every like every week before the pandemic, I was like, dude, I feel like like we're all like we're all peaking right now. This is like the most fun. <laughs> exactly, and the that's happiest the peak. We all it's are the right up now. and then the down right after. But it's bro. crazy how we were like on a high like remember, the month before the pandemic hit. Remember when the pandemic hit and you'd be over at my house like every day, or like we'd be with each other like every day, and people would be like, why the fuck are they hanging out yeah and like, and like we didn't want to tell people that we were literally neighbors. next door neighbors <laughs> like our, backyards, give it away. Our, backyards. Right. our backyards our backyards connect and like it got so bad at one point where they're like zane keeps going over there <laughs> they're like we were like if they only knew we were like trying to we were like should we post like like our like our addresses we practically like at my old house no we remember we're like we ha i think we have to we have to do a bit where we're neighbors yeah like we, at one point we filmed like this tiktok that i was going to post that showed zane reaching over the fence to grab milk from me <laughs> because we're we're literally next door neighbors and like that's why we were with each other so much um but yeah i remember that from the pandemic. Yeah. But i don't remember from like three weeks or three months before the pandemic that was the best yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Where is that? Where, where you remember, just remember, like, think about like, like every week in there's, Portland, there's we a, do the podcast. There's such and, a fine line between oh. best and worst. You know what I mean? That like, the, like there's best, times where like, when, you, when you're in so a moment much. and yeah. you're like, this is the best, like me, literally, every time I go out drinking, I'm like, this is the greatest thing <laughs> on the world, man. <laughs> and then the next day I'm like, God, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck was that? I never want to feel that again. God. Mine would be like living with you at your first house that you bought. You said the best moments of your life? Wait, which one? Which uh, house? The one that Zane lived in by himself and then I moved in with yeah. him. Zane lived in you <laughs> <nine> <laughs> house. It was, it was that one that the, like never got done. Yeah, it was like, remember oh the backyard? The backyard <laughs> sucked? <laughs> Bro, I see. <laughs> Yeah, holy shit, I forgot you had that house. Yeah. But that was so much fun. Like, I was watching the vlogs the other day, and like, I sent that them to you because I was like, God, we were like, just. Like, remember, on remember it. like the Fortnite video that we made? Like, yes. we were just, we were always we were filming, laughing our ass off. Yeah. That, and then when Carly and Aaron lived together nearby, and then when we were first hanging out, like, and just yeah. us. Carly and Aaron. Nearby where? When I lived with Brendan McNerney. Oh God, yeah, yeah, And hanging out with you for the first time and like us just laughing our asses yeah. off so much. It, it, it was good, it was it was nice. Is that when you were near like Koreatown? Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, wow. Near. I remember when you had a party at that old place, remember? And you're like, you got on the roof and we couldn't get you down. Yeah. Yes, I <laughs> remember that. You left that. his keys, you left your keys because <laughs> yeah. I couldn't leave in the morning. Yeah. And you were like, because I can't Matt was the on the roof. Dude, it was so funny because I, I remember going live on Instagram and I never go live on Instagram. I went live i was still hammered and i thought it was hilarious that matt is screaming on my roof looking for the keys and i'm like y'all gotta see this and matt's like <laughs> where are my keys and he's just on the roof it was the funniest it's, fucking image. it's so funny how like good you are when you're hungover like that's like the funniest zane right like, oh yeah like in the morning like, i think everyone i think I, is that not everybody no bro. like everybody you hungover. thrive in that i was yeah i, I was do feel the best four days ago, I hangover. no yeah. He, yeah he's so good at it he can live in that state forever mm -hmm. oh my god i remember we were, <laughs> we were in fucking we were in vegas just recently not recently it was like a couple months ago we did the fifty thousand dollar bet yeah and we placed the bet it was like friday night we placed it no it was like thursday night we placed it <clears throat> and then it was saturday night we were out and zane comes up to me and he goes we lost by the way and <laughs> zane comes up to me and goes when are we putting that bet down and i pull natalie aside and i turn my camera and i'm like zane what are you talking about and he's like when are we placing the bet and I was like, dude, we did it already. It was two nights ago. <laughs> oh my god! And, and he was like, there was that when we were in Vegas, you didn't, you weren't sober for like a oh, single Oh no, that, no, that was, no, that was a weird time. I didn't know what day it was <laughs> it because it was over. Just, it's and a he, Yeah. And he thought we were still in the same Well, day. to be fair, we also were only supposed to go there for one day. One day. And then that trip just kept getting pushed and pushed. <laughs> it was and so pushed. fun. It was like it, a really good day. It was we so fun. five room keys each. Yeah. yeah we kept because they kept rooms. canceling it. Because <laughs> yeah. we thought it was the same Oh, bro. Day. That was the, that was the time I completely trashed my hotel room. Yes. Did you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Molly's game. 
Oh, I'm just <laughs> oh you, you made it sound like you partied, partied so no, hard. I didn't party hard. Yeah, I no. just puked everywhere. No, what? Yeah, I puked everywhere. And then there was a girl that kept trying to come in, and you Molly. guys. Oh, yeah. Molly's game. We talked about that, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we, we talked about it already. Crazy it was really you wild. Were, you were dead asleep during this entire thing. And she and, was. And it was. She was like on your bed. I remember someone like clawing at me and being like, I, should I help you? And I was like, no. <laughs> I remember that. And then you guys, you guys. He keep... found her in there like three times. Then the third time she so came bad. out with your hat on. Oh, fuck. That's where you cross the line. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that. You don't take my hat. <laughs> no, like, take all my clothes off me, but just leave my hat on my head. <laughs> don't show my hairline. <laughs> My, my That's one, funny. My I felt so embarrassed for their friends because their friends were just like, they all turned and like, oh my God, not again. It's like, it's almost like she does this. You did this to Dylan Francis <laughs> a month ago. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that was a really, f I forgot that like Dylan was playing shows and yeah. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, that was a lot. But yeah, you thrive in that. And then I Thank remember, you. I was speaking of your old house, I also remember one night we came home and it was every night was like this. Like every night we'd come home and there was like some funny interaction I would have with you at your house or like putting you to sleep or something. Yeah. And there was one time you locked right? <laughs> there, there was one time you locked yourself out and we had to break a hole. Oh yeah. Oh. That was in the vlog. Yeah, that yeah, was that was so hole. fun. That house was really funny to do shit like that because every, there was always something broken in that house. Yeah, we had to break a hole in the glass so you could reach around and you can open the door. <laughs> it was so funny. I can't believe that the way I hit that was perfect. Yeah, it was great. It was amazing. I just like I, I was expecting my entire door to just like break, but only one square broke. Yeah, I mean, it was awesome. That was like a common theme and like things like bits that we would try to do. Like it would like work out just perfectly. Yeah. Like yeah. Whether it was like we were gambling or whatever it was like, it was just like, it just worked out exactly how we wanted. Yeah. Things were right. Yeah. Things were fine. You know what I, re you know what moment I really liked too? When uh, Mike Sheffer was like in front of your camera in my old house and he was saying something. He was like, dude, I don't understand why you and Zane, all you guys do is fucking go out and get here. And he's talking and all of a sudden a chair flies, like <laughs> flies to him. But he moves per at perfect timing. He literally backs up and boom, hits the edge of the cabinet. I, I still like can't believe that shot looked that good. Yeah, that was, oh, I almost killed Mike Sheffer bro, with that chair. What am I, I, wait, I think this was probably the same night when you did Ings on you. And Ings, uh, oh, oh, oh it, yeah, yeah, it was. Parking lot, and Dude, I'm like, he's not getting laid. He's not yeah, 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 yeah. Zane, What's Ings on you? Zane was really drunk. It was my warrior name. Yeah, he goes into like this martial arts, like warrior, like like thing that he does, and it's like <laughs> that's what I should have been for Halloween. I wear the same outfit. Ings on you. Zane's Zane's really tricky to be around when he's drunk, and it's taken me a long time to like master the art of standing next to him <laughs> <laughs> because because like. What, what's so special about him is like, if you try to avoid him, he will come at you. Right. And he will like either like try to lick your face or like, or tackle you or something. So you have to like, like from time to time, you have to check in with him and be the aggressor. So he knows that you're on the same wavelength. As right. you. You Hold be on, wait, what do you, are you saying like, I'm really aggressive? Not aggressive. I, you're just oh. like, you, you're like a dog, like a puppy who likes to play a lot. Like Got when it. you're drunk and like when you're not giving you the attention, like and when you're ignoring you, like you'll come at the person and you'll like start playing with Oh them. God, am I like Jason's dog? No, no, a lot, In a way. A lot less <laughs> cute and a lot more hairy, but it's like, okay. uh, but it's just, it's just really fun. Like I know like when you're really drunk and I don't want you like coming over me and like giving me a nuggy, like I have to be around you and like being like holding you a lot and be like, what's up Zane? Like I have to be <laughs> that makes sense. Sense. That makes sense. or that I know sense. you're going to come after me. Um, that's really funny. But you know. never drink. I, I like rarely. But what kind he type of drunk are asleep. you? Because I always get mad when like I hear like, "Oh, David drank." Yeah, last I, dr night. I drank. I drank. You're like honestly the most loving, sweet. What? It's drunk crazy how drunk. loving you yes. are when you're drunk. You want to kiss everyone. Yeah, oh my you're god. very cuddly, right? In like, in Vegas, no you were with Mariah and I. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> What what right, happened? Get over here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> just it. <laughs> um, um, no, and you were just like, take me home. I just I do like to like just like kiss. You're so gentle. Yeah, <laughs> just like to. <laughs> I just like like I remember. Yeah, I remember. I think I I, I probably kissed you. I, I remember like I kissed Susie at one point. I, I have seen you kiss a girl, Susie. Susie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was that was it. I got I got so drunk the other night. Doesn't count. I, uh, I got drunk the other night and I was I fucking puked everywhere. It was really bad. John drove me home, but um, but you guys should see the video. He's not gonna post it, but, but the video is great. Yeah, Natalie, <laughs> Natalie, wa Natalie watches. She's like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> 
It, no, it was like there. It wasn't even funny. It it's was like funny. concerning. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not yeah. cool. It's just like sad. It's, all, it's also there weren't like you two weren't in the back making jokes. Like, right, it was, you were alone. It was John going. It was John going. <laughs> oh oh come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! What the fuck did you have? If, if Zayn and I were with you, we would have been stomping in it and like <laughs> playing in your <laughs> puke puddle. Ew, that's so and sad. And like then it would have been funny. It's such a it was such a funny video because you were like just just walking so like yeah just straight with no just yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, um, like you got exercised. No, but I remember. Yeah, I like when I get drunk. It's a lot like it's a lot. What Heath, you were saying it's a lot like looking at somebody and being like, "This is the best." Yeah, let's do this for the rest of our lives. Like we went to when we went to Europe just now. We got back from Paris. Paris. I Facetimed you like like every every night. time you're out, you Facetime me. Like in my head, that that means that you're having the time of your life. It was like, you're the I best. Got, I got drunk every night in Paris. That's why I didn't post a vlog for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like having so much fun. Good for and, you. And you I deserve was, that. And I was just like like. Like, I just want to like move out of the country. Like I was honestly like kind of hoping I was stuck outside of the country so I can like take like some time and just like see other things. Like it was so exciting being in different places. Like they, yeah. they like they value different things. Like it's so hard to explain, but like when you're in Paris and you're you're in France or you're in Croatia, like there's nothing to compare yourself to there. Like they're like LA is so toxic and so tough because mm -hmm. you see a lot of your friends, but they're also your coworkers and they're also people you compare yourself to. And you're just like, oh fuck, they got this brand deal. Like I need to be doing this. I need to be posting this much more. Mm -hmm. But when you're in France, no one fucking gives a fuck about social media. They just mm -hmm. care about like, it's also rude to tip in France, which is weird. David Blaine was explaining this to me. Because they like, get paid well. It's not only that, but they, they don't work. It, David Blaine was saying it's like, they don't work for you. Like they're working just to work and like to tip is almost an insult. Like I try tipping and they're like, no, 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 no. Like, oh, like because they, because it comes off as like, it's like, you need this. Yeah. Like, it's like, I'm not doing this for you. I'm just doing this because like, insult, this is, yeah, this is how I right. live. It's, I, I still wow. can't explain it. I'm not doing a good job explaining it. You're, it's a hard thing to like, even, but, but like being in like Paris and like, I don't know, it was <laughs> just so fun. And we just like, I'd go to cafes and all the cafes in Paris face outwards. Like they face onto the street. Yeah. So you sit there and like, wow. and no one faces each other. Like you're sitting here and I'm sitting here and you're like having a drink, a cigarette, whatever it is. And you're looking out outwards onto the street. Oh, it's the so fuck. And I feel like it's okay. It so I feel like it's fun. okay to be by yourself. I love yes. that. Like, in oh my like everybody does their own thing. Nobody like bothers each oh, other. I feel like there's no pressure there. Have you, have yeah. you guys ever been? Has any of you no, been? I just we, came I back really from Italy. Go. You've been, never been to Paris? I've been to France twice. I've never been Bro, to Paris. Oh, we should. We, I'm telling you, we got to go. Like, I'm not like. We like, know. Like, we're, we're trying. I think we're, we're, <laughs> Let's go now. I think we're afraid that we're, we're not going to want to come back and we don't come back. No. No, you'll want to come back. No, you, oh, yeah? No, yeah. After, I don't know. After you spend like a lot of time abroad, you really like at the end, you're like, okay. I'll I don't know. Go. I did not want to come back. And you like come back and you like, you're just like, you even like spending like a week somewhere, you're just like. I've seen so much. <laughs> and like, and like, you'll see like people on the street and you'll be like, they have no they idea what I've been through. <laughs> <laughs> they can never spend six days in Paris. <laughs> but like, I did. They um, haven't left this continent. Yeah, but like, no, you guys, you guys would really love it. It's a total different vibe. And like, it's just so crazy. Like we live in such a bubble here. Mm -hmm. And it's just so nice to see like other parts. Like my, I was talking to my, um, to my relatives, they all live on one street. Like all my grandparents, <laughs> oh, they all that's live. That's so Whoa. cool. And my, my, my aunt, who's my grandma's daughter, she, instead of moving, they built out the basement for her and her husband. Oh wow. And now they have three kids in the hut, in, in the basement of the home where she grew up in. Like the Wait, basement, that, the basement was there. That's Staten too. Island. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I'm sure that this place is like this, but it's like it's everywhere there. And I was like asking her, I was like, "Would you ever move like to a different place?" And she's like, she like, couldn't even like comprehend the question. Like, she's like, "Why would I need?" She's to? like, "Yeah, I'm like maybe like next door, I could build a house, but like there's <laughs> no. That's why like when I was there, I was like, how the fuck did my dad ever decide to move out of here? Like what led him to think like I got to go to America and I got to start something new? Um, there's benefits to both. Like it's yeah. cool to like chase that dream but there's also so so much beauty and just like hanging out with your family like yeah, yeah. like there's different <laughs> ways you can celebrate life and different ways you can live in it's like so fucking cool to see like people's perspectives mm -hmm. and like that's what 
the best part about traveling is. And like, wait, are you allowed go. to leak out where you're heading to next? Yeah, I mean, it's not really like a leak. Well, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't think any. No, leak. this will be the first time to but say yeah, where actually, you're heading next. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. this is a leak. Well, no, it's not because I'm. I, this comes out. This he's comes just, out he's after just trying leaves. to justify our clickbait. Well, oh, the post. <laughs> I don't think that'll okay. do well. <laughs> you, <laughs> you leave tomorrow. This isn't a Marvel movie. Yeah, I, tom tomorrow or in two days, I go to Dubai. It's Dubai's awesome. It's Which I'm, hot. So I'm really. I've always wanted to go it, there. It's, and it's ride the camels. Dubai is like if uh, somebody built like a city with the cheat code on Sims is like the best way I can describe right. it. Right. Yeah. Like you're like Unlimited how many money. columns can they build right. outside of a building and they've done it. It's ridiculous. I'm so curious to see it. There, we're leaving Tuesday morning, and our my friends that are going don't know yet. Um, I don't know why I corrected our friends. Oh wait, to my your friends, friends don't. I guess they it's not do about know us. where you're. They going. don't know you're no, going yet. No, 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 no. They know where we're going, but they don't know that there's a camel coming to my house, like Discovery. Oh, oh, oh God. that's it. They're like they're bringing like a full grown camel. Can I come see the camel off camera? You can see it on camera. Oh, Sally, <laughs> but, it's like, um, but, but, I'm, but I'm so excited. I don't know. I'm just I, Dubai is like a place that like you always hear about. Like, you, yeah. are you going to the uh, the Ferrari like amusement park museum like crazy thing? Yeah, like like half of our itinerary is driving stuff. Like, there's like all kinds of cars. I feel like. Did you guys have like a like a like I had like a a week long class on Dubai in school? Did you guys no. have that too? No, I didn't know about Dubai until like. Lifestyle. No, a few years ago, me when, too, like, me when too. Elton was like, "You want to go to Dubai?" I was like, <clears throat> "What was it like? Like, what? Do, what is a person?" Expect? It is unreal, dude. Is it actually? It is so beautiful and clean and rich. Yeah, it, it, but is there community? I feel like there isn't. I would. I would imagine. Like, you said what you do you can't... mean by community? Like, not, uh, okay. Well, like, what I mean, like. Is there, like, I imagine everything is, like, so spaced out and there's not, like, a place where, like, people congregate oh, and hang out. No, oh. I, I would say, like, yeah, there's not, like, a, a flourish of, like, culture there, but it's a vibe. Like The, the craziest thing when you, or, sorry. Go ahead. The craziest thing I noticed about Dubai is how celebrated, like, American chain restaurants are there. Oh, like, fuck when yeah. You're, oh, when, cool. you're under, when you're under the Burj Khalifa and there's that big fountain. It's like Red Lobster, Hardee's. Yeah. No like, way. And, and cool. Kane's Chicken Fingers. Like all of these big Kane's? restaurants, dude, are like wow. in their packs. Like like Red Lobster looks like it's like a fucking You know why? Because they probably make it really good there. Remember what Red Lobster used to be? It used to be delicious. Mm. And now they just like don't. Surprisingly, the most popular restaurant I, I have seen in Europe so far is Five Guys. What? Really? What? I see that and shit everywhere in Europe. Damn. Really? Yeah. Like um, so. what other cha what other chains like famous chains? Um, I don't know. Like there's, there's a McDonald's, but it didn't taste the same. Boring. But in some countries, they can't actually. They have to use like completely 100 percent real meat. So the yeah. burgers from McDonald's taste like different. I hear. I haven't tried them yet, but really good. Their McDonald's is great. Oh, you've tried it? Yeah. Wait, you it, it tastes Dubai fresh. Too? No, no, no. Sorry. Uh, I thought I thought you were talking about Europe. You know, uh, I am. I am. I, yeah. Uh, London. Really good, like oh, custard yeah. pastries but at the McDonald's. It, and, yeah, like to me, <clears throat> Dubai feels like a Mr. Beast world. Totally. Like it, it totally. feels like a bunch of YouTubers all in one spot that are like <laughs> they have a shit ton of money and they're just trying to outdo the next person. Totally. Like mm. this building's bigger. Oh, we're gonna go even bigger, but yeah. like new world, rec new record, and it's just like like this building. Everybody, spins. yeah, everybody's yes. just trying to outdo <laughs> yeah. the next rich it, person. It feels like Vegas, but you can't gamble. Like every oh, you can't in, gamble. No, and, and you can't get no, fucked up. But when you're in Dubai, you kept thinking like I gotta gamble yeah. right now because everything is so lavish, and your brain thinks Vegas, and you think like. I need to be spending some money. And then it's like, no, you can't get Oh, yeah, that's really The public intoxication, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> so taking a it depends. No, no, no. Yeah. You know what? It's no, cool. because like when you're, on, when you're in Hollywood, in Hollywood, you're seeing just drunk people fucking everywhere, especially like at 2 a.m. People are breaking shit. It's just, it, it it's looks trashy. really bad. Trashy. But there's, there's not a piece of gum on the fucking side. Really? It is so clean. Didn't you say they're very strict there? Like, yeah, you get like, arrested if you run a red light. And if you like lose your job, you got to find a new fucking job. It's like living or, with like, like strict rich parents. Yeah. yeah. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, BetterHelp. The best way to think about therapy is through a bunch of analogies. That's right. We get our car serviced to prevent bigger issues down the road. We mm -hmm. also work out and go to the doctor to prevent injury and even disease. We even see the dentist to prevent cavities. 
Exactly. So therapy is like all of the above. It's the routine maintenance for your mental and emotional wellness to prevent bigger issues down the road. And you know, going to therapy doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It means you're investing yourself to keep your mind healthy. And if you don't know what BetterHelp is, it is a customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. So why invest in everything else and not your mind? Good thing this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and unfiltered listeners can get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash Zane and Heath to get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. Good thing you know how to spell. Go to betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath to get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this podcast and keeping our head, our mind, and our brains serviced. The next sponsor for this episode is brought to you by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you're going to get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. We all know the holidays can be hectic, but HelloFresh keeps things simple with recipes and ingredients that cut out grocery shopping and limit meal prep time so you can spend more of the time this season with friends and family. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options providing plenty of variety. And the ingredients travel from the farm to your door within a week, so you get the convenience without skimping on the quality. HelloFresh isn't just for meals. Their marketplace features a variety of add-ons for breakfast, desserts, and seasonal snacks, like Pillsbury pumpkin cookie dough. But I know what you're no, getting, Nicey. You. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need to easily customize your order on the app within minutes. Easily change your delivery day, food preferences, and plan size, or skip a week whenever you need. And we all know HelloFresh is a can't-beat value. Even at the full price, it's over 30% cheaper than grocery stores. And with the holiday deal, it's time to try for even less. And what's great about this is that we're getting close to the holidays. So the Thanksgiving feast is back. I'm looking at it right now. This is absolutely insane. They got a turkey and sides box. You get a whole roast turkey, roasted delicata and shallots. You get ciabatta stuffing, classic oh, wow. gravy, creamy mashed potatoes, and their cranberry sauce. And their regular items are so good already. So imagine what their Thanksgiving meals are going to taste like. Oh my like. God. Cranberry brie. Crostini, apple ginger crisp. Wow. And you know what? This is even good for Thanksgiving Day because remember all the years that we've just ordered Thanksgiving uh -huh. meals online because yep. I don't want to sit there and cook like a whole like meal without like directions and yeah. without like it coming straight to me. So it makes it so much easier. Exactly. And it serves between eight to 10. Wow. Eight to 10 people. We're going to do that for sure. Oh my God. Friendsgiving here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, should I just have my family fly back, fly out here? We're just, it? yeah. We, they have the, the turkey inside and they also have beef tenderloin inside. We'll get both. We'll get the whole families out. Perfect. Mm. So if you want to spend Thanksgiving the Zane and Heath way, which is the way to go, make sure to go to HelloFresh.com slash 14 unfiltered and use code 14 unfiltered for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash 14 unfiltered and use promo code 14 unfiltered for 14 free meals and three gifts. Baby, three gifts. It doesn't even make sense not to do it, baby. It's Try the Hello holiday Fresh. season, baby. We are giving back. That's a lot of free meals. It is. Thank you, HelloFresh. And Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to talk about your pizza because, you know, you're doing a PR run about your pizza. Uh, oh, About your pizza yeah. restaurant. Let's battle this out. Thin pizza is better than deep dish. I don't think there are. I don't think it's a battle. I think that's just like two different things. Fuck deep dish okay. pizza. You could say that. It's a There's class. only that one. That's a casserole. That's a casserole okay, the, 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 fucking the one, pizza. The one thing I will agree with is deep dish, it doesn't feel like pizza. Like it's not something you can pick up. It is a different type of like method yep. that like you eat it. I think somebody called it a pizza pie and it got ran with and carried away because it literally is oh, like yeah. a crust. Okay. Yeah. A, like a, a deep dish is a pie. But all pizzas are pies. It's delicious. Right, though. but right. people say yeah, a pizza pie, but like a deep dish is a, like a <laughs> literally a pie. a pie. Okay, but thin versus thin, thick crust. I think thin. Thin. you guys are all thin. thin. Right? It uh, depends on your mood. It depends, like, <laughs> like the only deep dish that I've ever liked was Luminati's. Like mm -hmm. they have incredible deep dish pizza. Uh, deep dish is amazing, man. It's amazing. Oh, but, there was that one spot in Chicago I did like. Uh, it started with a P. Uh, Pequots. Pizza Pequots. Hut. Oh, yeah, that place is good too. Yeah. But yeah, tell us about your uh, pizza restaurant. Well, what do you want about to know? open up? Um, I'm starting. When is it? When is it going to open up? I'm starting a pizza restaurant. Um, it's opening up in like, like May around May. Wow. Oh, that's oh. good. Yeah. Sooner than I thought. Well, we have to submit everything to the city, like the building plans and stuff. Um, we're like close to getting the recipe down. It's going to be a thin and like a thick crust. 
Um, Ilya's running the whole thing, which is really fun, which I'm super curious about. Yeah. It's like, I love that. When you know, I've thrown a lot of money into this thing, so it's just like every every day I go to. We got Ilya, to try some of the pizza, like, and it's fucking f- incredible. It's gonna be so much better than when yeah. you guys tried it too. Like, I oh promise. really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I'm so fucking excited. Like, I I didn't understand it. Like, I didn't understand how I could love a pizza that we made. Like, I just feel like I couldn't like like it because I'd like just be so biased to be like fucking Domino's just pick better, it, yeah. Prince Street's better. But like, I'm starting to fucking like I crave the pizza we've created like I that's love it. Oh, that's, that's good that's good. good i love it so much i'm so excited um and i'm just like really excited about like being able to walk into a pizza shop and just it's yours and for, it's mine and just ask for so pizza for free exactly like, that's cool. So cool that's the only reason why you're doing a million a dollars to make the <laughs> restaurant the American no dream. i mean like i feel like everybody like my big goal is to like own a hotel one day and like just to be able to walk in and like the person goes, hello, Mr. Dobrik, welcome back. Like, that is fucking <laughs> sick. And now I have it, like, in a small scale, like, pizza. Yeah. Like, I think, like, I think it's fun to create things that you want to, like, participate in or you want to, like, indulge in. And pizza is, like, something I love. So, like. Everybody and guess what? Pizza. We all love pizza. Mm-hmm. So this is going to work out. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be perfect. And we, we can get it for free. We can order whenever we want. And there's going to be ice cream. So we're going to be serving. There's going to be an ice cream window where you pick up just the ice cream. Like, a little drive through You walk up to it, and you'll be able to get ice cream. Um, and it's chocolate, vanilla, or blue, and then blue moon. I knew it. Can I, oh, hold on. Chocolate, vanilla, and what? Blue moon. His blue, favorite. Yeah. Which blue you, moon? Yeah. I've still wait, never blue, tried blue, it. Oh, you've never tried it? No. No, wait. Blue bell. No, blue moon. Blue moon is a beer. I know. It's also a flavor, but it's mainly in the Midwest. Oh, got it. <laughs> um, and once you try it, you'll be like, can we, why were you hyping this up so are, You're doing like ice cream test tasting, right? Yeah, I'm doing Like the cream. pizza? Yeah. Can we, can we do the- yeah, 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 Do you yeah. need some professionals? I'm very- Yeah. We're, we're like ice cream connoisseurs <laughs> over here. Professionals. Yeah. But I'm super stoked. I'm just. I'm sorry, Matt. Is your tour bus here? (laughs) Maybe. Maybe. He's been on this damn phone. Wait, what is Blue Moon made of? Like, what's the hype? Because I don't. I don't actually know. I think it's Blue Bell. What the? It's Blue Bell, not Blue Moon. I think it's like it's 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 vanilla and fruity pebbles. Blue Moon ice cream. Oh. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Oh, like so fucking good. Smurf Blue Marshmallow. Oh, it's a flavor. It's not a brand. Yeah, it's a flavor, not a brand. I thought you were talking about a brand. Oh. It's fucking incredible. I'm telling you. It's just vanilla. It's no. It's marshmallow. It's uh, marshmallow look, look, there's guesses. People are, are thinking it's vanilla with a hint, hint of citrus. Can't pronounce that word. Lemon, cotton candy, marshmallow, bubble gum. Oh, that's but, like kids' ice cream. It, no, it's definitely it's definitely not like a refined taste of ice cream. It is. It like reminds a, me of like red velvet. Like what is red velvet? Oh, red velvet. What is it? Love, it's like, it's people say it's chocolate, but it's not chocolate. Bro, that's it is. It's it's like a. It pisses me off. It's, it's not chocolate. chocolate. But if you gave me a piece of chocolate cake and a piece of red velvet and I was blindfolded, I would be able to tell you the difference. Oh, but now that you brought it up, red velvet is pretty fucking close to chocolate. Yeah. It is. It's close to chocolate. I feel like it's you like wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It's chocolate with like a little, uh, little turn at the end. Yeah. <laughs> like that's what it feels like. <laughs> a little We're going turn. going chocolate, cinnamon. Yeah. I was talking to you about this the other day. Like what the fuck is Coca-Cola? Yeah, we were talking about like innovative flavors. Like someone came up with the flavor Coca-Cola know, and everybody know, loved know, it. Yeah. Like everybody unanimously was like, yeah, that's one of, that's a that's flavor. Co- it, oh, and it didn't exist like before that. That yeah. flavor didn't like exist. How did they know that it was good? You can't just invent shit like that. Like how the fuck like does that cr- work? It's like coming up with a new color. Exactly. So that's yeah. like, do that? like, who's going to come up with about, an egg soda? If you think about it, the, 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 the flavor cola does taste like chemically though. But it's like, not it's like, weird, like a flavor. Like there's, there's, there's Sprite where you're like, it's lemon a lemon lime. lime or like an orange Fanta is like orange. Like everything has Coca-Cola. its own flavor that it's based off. But Even like, Dr. Pepper, like but cherry. Like what they're, every, uh, what they're yeah. selling you is joy because like you're not really getting anything from oh. drinking Coke. It's not water. It's not healthy for you. It is. Right, but what's the flavor? No, we know. Delicious. We know that, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the flavor of cola nice. like uh of <laughs> Matt, Matt wants us to give up <laughs> Matt was on his phone the whole time well, well what, what coca-cola about. is it it's a good time it, it tastes of but enjoyment it's highly that's irresponsible what, they, what is it's enjoy that's what but they're what selling did they take you no the it. like the, fla- the took, flavor is the good flavor. Matt. they took I, I chemicals and put it together i don't drink it and be like this flavor. is shit but i'm enjoying it like it's good it tastes amazing you know what ginger ale is it's high fructose corn syrup that's what this is saying it's like it's like licorice how the fuck did they come Ugh. up with licorice? And why did they come up with licorice? Why do I feel like licorice is in cola a little bit? Because it's just dark. I think that's what's giving you the, mm-hmm. the vibe. Maybe it's chocolate. It's chocolate. Everything's just chocolate. It's red velvet <laughs> chocolate. And also what I don't understand uh, about like any restaurant or any food is like, you know how there's always like a secret recipe? Mm-hmm. Yes. And like how only two people know about yeah. the secret recipe? How the fuck does that work? Because shouldn't there be like- Every some, chef. So Yeah, shouldn't somebody at every factory know what they're pouring in? Like, does, does one person just control all the shipments <laughs> of the secret recipes? <laughs> like, in the world? Like, how does that happen? I think, I think yeah. they sign NDAs. 
Yeah, I've gone to the Coca Cola factory. I've seen the vault where they hold the recipe. Do they show you where the vault is and well, everything? You're telling me like they die with the recipe? There must be some kind of a rule because like like if I was on my deathbed, I'd be like the Krabby Patty secret formula. <laughs> is. Yeah. 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 Don't don't die with it. Yeah, that's stupid. Um, I don't know. I think that, I think that's so bizarre. Like they always say that there's like three people on Earth currently that know the the recipe. Like that's like the for Coca Cola. But like that doesn't oh, make any sense really? to me because more people should yeah pe like Pepsi like more people should know it. If, but then if people are making gummies like the cola gummies, that's the same taste. So right, but people can make like so they have to know what's people can in it. make like a like off brand like right uh, what do they call it the fucking but, you, but that shit tastes off brand. And how do they make artificial? Right, right, but it tastes oh, like God, Coke. I feel like I'm high. No, also artificial? a good question is is like it's crazy how like people like you'll have the success of Coke and then someone will go I want to start Pepsi. And then they'll right. go, but it tastes so similar. And they're like, no. no, but it's different. It's sweeter. I no, I understand, but like just the overall concept, it's like it just tastes like a different version of Coke. Yeah. Like, isn't that like bizarre? Yeah. But then you but then you have like Uber and Lyft. Like who goes like I want to start Lyft? You know what I mean? It's competition. Mm. No, I understand, but it's just like It's so close though. It's you so you see everything close. wrong in one app and you're like, oh, that we're gonna make another app. But better and so, fix all these but problems. Someone told me something interesting the other day. Like I was trying to come up with like a product to, to start or like to have. And he was like, don't think of like a new revolutionary product. Think of a product that already works that you love and you just want to make it your own. That's yeah. it. Like that's what he said. That's how you create a successful business is like don't think about things that you can invent because it's there's too much risk in that. Yeah. So like think about like, hmm. like that's why I like, you know, seltzers. Like people love seltzers and like mm -hmm. people are like changing little things here and there to like change seltzers and make it their own. Right. No, that was deep. It's like us with coffee. Exactly. exactly. We know what we like. We know what we don't time. like. I think I'd be really disappointed if I did find out the Coca-Cola recipe because it's not going to be like some crazy ingredient. We're going to be like, oh, no way. Yeah. It's not like raspberry leaves. Right. It's like C969. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's going to be something, it's something that? that doesn't make sense. It's going to be like three tablespoons of some sort of chemical, which won't mean anything to me. We find out it's literally, you know, like uh, seltzer water. It's just Mio. There's something they just squirt in each <laughs> yeah. fucking thing. Or, or, so do you, yeah, or do you think that there's like a fucking lake like um, no. miles away on an island that has like the literal like <laughs> the Coca-Cola, like, like the owner of Coke has to paddle out there <laughs> and bring back. The like, owner of Coke. Like, I don't know. Maybe there is something like that, too. Some high quality H2O. Like uh, you, you have a whole theory that you brought up um, about the Arctic. The Antar Antarctica that like, yeah. you've read about? What is that? No one can go there. Well, hold on. Did you... Do you, um, you guys talk about this already? This is a whole conversation, no. but no, we've hold never on. talked about there's this. A, uh, there's actually uh, something I just found out. You're talking about like a lake. Um, it's pretty interesting. Coca-Cola Lake? There's a toxic lake of black sludge that's the result of mining to create our tech gadgets. Um, it's a 5.5 mile in diameter uh, toxic lake in Mongolia. And uh, in Inner Mongolia, China, um, it's made of black sludge and dangerous chemicals. And it's all just byproducts and shit of making like our sludge. tech gadgets. All right. Heath just read this amazing fact and you're like, <laughs> sludge. You can have flavor. You're allergic to coconut. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have. <laughs> you're allergic to coconut flavor? No, I don't know. So no pina coladas? <laughs> <laughs> Immediately something alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I just say I'm allergic to some things that like are you allergic to something if it makes your head itch? Make, um, fruit makes my mouth itch, but I could still eat it. Like bananas make my head itch, coconut makes like my head your itch. scalp? Yeah, walnuts. No, yeah, that's, my that's scalp. allergic. That's yeah. just and the roof of my mouth. So yeah, I just like that's I just allergic. Like, I don't know. Pineapple fucking eats I, it eats at everybody's mouth. Yeah, but like, like yeah. cold it sores. Fucking like no, it gives me canker sores. Pineapple, really bad. What did I yeah. say? Cold. Cold but the thing is that you- I'm cold. You eat a lot of citrus, so I feel like that's what gives you cold sores, not just pineapples. Well, I used to eat a full pineapple like every day. Yeah, yeah. that's, I mean, no, I didn't anybody know eats a full pineapple every day, they're gonna I didn't, get it. I didn't know that was a problem, but. Why did you transition to watermelon because of that? Well, no, watermelon's still pretty acidic, but like, yeah, someone was like, that's why you get canker sores. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, fuck. <laughs> that's can pretty I, cool. Can I well, ask something? Yeah, go ahead. yeah. The podcast, yeah. Is it cool if I leave in like 12 minutes, a party bus is gonna pick me up? <laughs> <laughs> why would you why would you say the party bus is gonna pick you up listen i had and to, then ask because if it's okay. this is the only time david could record no i could have recorded whenever i was told are to, you kidding me i was told david, to, natalie told us that you couldn't record tomorrow because you're, you're going to dubai natalie told and me all to, of us wanted to record natalie tomorrow. told me oh, let's to, just do it tomorrow 
tomorrow. <laughs> no, listen. Natalie told me to come today because she's like, they all want a pregame so they can start drinking during the podcast. Wait, no, Natalie no. wants to <laughs> Wait. No. Dude, I missed out on we a whole Halloween out. party where everyone was dressing up as Mario Kart characters to go go-karting. <gasps> oh, my oh, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> but because I'm of what Natalie said, I'm and I go, this is the job. And, and but 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 now they're all they finished go karting and they want to pick me up in the party bus. And so Matt, you had four nights of go. Halloween already. <laughs> you know, I, mean, that, that I just missed out on a lot of good times. So y'all were at Brockhampton. It, it, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't our fault. Oh it was Natalie's goodness. fault. Well, I thought we thought he yeah, was leaving tomorrow. Like a common denominator. Y'all can still talk, but is it cool if I go sure. late, later? Okay, cool. really. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else we could talk about? We've been yeah, let's, talking. Let's tap into one more thing. Yeah. yeah. What would you What would you like to talk about, David? Ask us any questions. Because when, when you when, when you're interested <laughs> you in stuff, you get excited. Person. So what, what yeah. are you interested in that you want to talk about? We'll give you the complete honest truth. It's like hot seat. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, oh good, <gasps> idea. Yeah. good idea. We should do that for our guests. Okay. One think, hot seat question. You, you, do you think? Okay. Is it on me first? Oh, this is just like a group. I mean, you guys want me to spark conversation or something yeah. I love. <clears throat> Do you think Tom Holland's Spider Man is going? <laughs> you fucking knew it. You guys, that was something I've been dying to ask. What you. was the question? I'm really excited to watch that movie Do sitting think, next to you. Oh my God. It's going to be a blast. Yeah. It's going to be a blast. I was just watching videos of. Uh, sorry, let's talk about something else. You're uncircumcised, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have. Are you, are you ever oh, going to Are you, you going to get like circumcised? Yeah. Are you ever going to like do it? John got it. John got it at like thirteen. It was really funny. Yeah, you can get it late. Thirteen? Yeah, whenever. Can we keep this in? It's very uncircumcised. Zany Heath uncircumcised. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's your Patreon name. <laughs> we can't think of anything else. We had to come up with Wait. circumcisions. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had fun. Thanks Did you feel comfortable? Me. Yeah, I mean, I always feel comfortable. That right. was great. Thank, Thank you for coming on. Thank, Thank you guys. You. Thank you for having me. Are you, are you scared? Are you What's wrong? No, I'm just listening to you guys. Oh, okay. Where can the people find you? <laughs> <laughs> um, go check out my views podcast. Um, you're, I don't think you're posting on there right now, are you? No. Well, the truth is, listen to the backlog, though. Yeah. The, the, the truth is, I I really want to, and we recorded an episode, and I loved it so much, and I had so much energy, and I was ready to go, and the whole thing has like a slight ringing in the background, so I oh. can't upload it, and it like <clears throat> defeated me so much where I'm just like, I'm not re-recording, and I can't do it again. So like I. I know it's so stubborn and stupid of me, but like, that's why I haven't been doing the podcast. How bad is the ringing? It's like, it sounds like a dog whistle. It's very faint. You've heard it. We've it's, had that before. It's very faint and I can actually post it without the dog whistle, but then it kind of just sounds like we're talking into the mic like this. Got it. Yeah. Um, but that really bummed me out. I'm sorry. That would have that would have bummed me out. Oh too. my god, you poor thing. That's yeah, that's crazy. Going. I need <laughs> and that's why <laughs> views ended. No, but thank you guys for having me. Of course, yeah, uh, make sure to check out his Discovery show on Discovery Plus. Yeah, well, you guys got to be part of the episode soon. Sure, I, <laughs> I signed a release. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way they I love the way they promoted it. Like we're all going to be in the show. <laughs> <It's only laughs> Nobody's four in of it. You. No, you're. I I do some callbacks to you in the in the first episode. I think. oh you do. Yeah. So we're in every episode. Is just we're in it. Very. I don't know. We'll see. There, oh, was, okay. there was one moment I was like, I was like, the producers really liked it. I don't know if they'll keep it in. I was like, because they came to our house to interview everybody. Yeah. Um, and I was like, man, we were in Croatia. And I was like, man, I wish Zane was here. Too bad he didn't know how to interview. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. I could not interview <laughs> save my life. And I told him, I was like, cut to Zane's interview, please. <laughs> Zane, Zane was panicking in the interview. I just wasn't having a good day at all. At all. Like, it, it was, was just, a bad day. It was a bad Zane. day. Bad day. And then we had to do that. And I was like, I can't do this. There's no way I'm going to do this. I'm like, Heath, just staying by my side. Just like, help me through this. And as soon as the camera turns on, I, I have a meltdown. And I just couldn't do it. It's really, it's really funny filming like a show because like Kemp is one of like the producers on the show, <clears throat> and we were filming the scene with. Um, this is coming up in one of the episodes. We were, we were filming a scene with this big bird. It was like a huge fucking like eagle, like it was a something eagle, and um, and it was supposed to fly onto Natalie's hand, but oh. the, the instructor guy took it off the leash and it fucking flew away, like no, flew away, like fucking to another fucking island, like <laughs> no. gone. And we're just sitting there. <laughs> For like 40 <laughs> minutes, just waiting for this thing to fucking come he's back. He's going to come back. It doesn't come back. And he's like, it's going to come back. It's going to come back. And the sun sets and everything, whatever. It's Shit. over. And our producer Kemp is like, so gang, tell me what happened. <laughs> and we're just like, what are you fucking blind? You've been sitting here 40 minutes with us. You saw what happened. But it's like really funny that like TV shows <laughs> right. are like, yeah. like the producers have to be like, so recap everything. But like, it's really fun where like we get to break that wall on the show. And we're just like, you fucking tell them you sat here with us. Like, oh, that's that's the bird's gone. Did he um, get it back? You have to watch the show. 
Oh, oh nice. 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 You know the answer. Good job. I the answer. I said it on my podcast, though. When I interviewed Jason, and I'm gonna, he, I'm gonna, he spoiled it. So nobody knows you your podcast. Wanna, right. I edited uh, Todd's to vlog, to so I know. <laughs> really? Got it. it. Got it. All right. Um, <laughs> anything else? Anything else you would like to no, plug in no, or promote? That's it. Thank you for having me. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, say one nice thing about everybody. <laughs> Go ahead. One positive, one negative. One, okay, one positive thing about everybody. <laughs> no. Right, I can't handle the Honestly, negatives. I don't, yeah, you can't even handle negative ones. Why the fuck do you want to hear? Okay, Matt, I think you're really knowledgeable about a lot of random different things. You're like a little almanac. It's really sweet. Thank you. Um, oh Mar Mar Mariah, <laughs> I think you have a really, really good sense of humor. I think you're really good at picking up on what's funny. She doesn't even take the good fucking compliments. And you're really good at picking up on what's awkward, which is awesome too. Thank kind you. of what I look for in a girl. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Um, Zane, you you do a really good job. Zane, you're so special. Just, just say it. Just you're say the it. specialist. Thank you. No, Thank you're uh, honestly. This is more physical, but I am so surprised at how good your hairline looks now. Oh, th thank you. I, I guess mean, it is fucking. I you, I didn't believe in that surgery, but oh, nobody did. This motherfucker <laughs> made some serious progress. Mm, yeah, yeah. It looks so good. And um, you're very sweet, and I only hear good things when people talk about you behind your back. Oh, thank you. Oh, really? Oh, really? Well, unless, awesome. it's, unless it's the friend group talking about you behind your back. Oh, fuck. Talk. Well, that's important. So. <laughs> and Heath, you're really good at um, um, communicating with, like, new people you meet. You're, like, you're, oh, yeah. you're really good. good with strangers, yes. and you're really good at making conversations, small talk. Way too hot, good. Thank hot, you. hot, hot. Yeah. Like, you can literally go up to a random stranger and just ask for drugs, and they'll always give it to you. Like, <laughs> you're like that, it's that, just that <laughs> I, I am easy. very convincing. <laughs> You're, good the you're a good salesman, and that's why you help get my cars. That's why you're Zane and Heath is such a good combo. Heath gets the drugs, Zane does them. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Very good. That was good. That was good. All right, can you you want to you want to you want to yeah. offer us out? Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank, thank you, David. Thank, thank you for taking the time out of your having me. All right, guys. So that's it for the episode. Um, <clears throat> you could listen to them every single Monday. Uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever it is. Video comes out every single Tuesday. YouTube.com slash Zane. Why are you, why are you tapping me? Oh, no, no, it's, it's like something you can just... <laughs> I saw someone do this once. <laughs> David did this I've seen, one, I've so seen I'm doing it. I've seen friends do this with friends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> YouTube.com slash Zane. I Heath. lost Make the sure pencil to get the, once. <laughs> Make sure to get Cremota Coffee, Cremota.com. You guys are killing me here. I lost something once. That was funny. Suck my ass. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. We love you. Thank you, David. Bye. Thanks bye -bye. for having me. Check bye. out Dobrik's Pizza. Bye.